Welcome back to The Witcher 3 Hearts of Stone, part 5 I'm pretty sure we're on now guys. So we are back, we're here, we're in Hearts of Stone. We uh, I guess we, what did we do last time? We finished our heist and we got some awesome armor. But guys, this is actually not the, the armor we got from the heist, this is the relic armor. I've actually, I've done something which is, which is a big old, uh, it's something I never do pretty much. It's something I never do, but I prepared before today's part and I got some stuff ready for today's part that I know I wanted to do because, well, you know, this part might be the final Hearts of Stone part, then we'll be moving on to the, um, the, one of the best areas in the game, I'd say, if not the best area. Tucson. That's right, guys. Right here. So, today's part is basically going to be finishing off the quests and also some other things that I will get into soon. But to start with, I want to go and return the, the Maximilian Borsodi's house to, to all geared. You know what, guys? I was just thinking before I go in, maybe what I'll do is... For the main quests, I'm gonna keep on the Witcher armor, because I like, I don't know, I like the Witcher School armor. I don't mind the New Moon armor, but I feel like, um, I don't know, it's a bit, it's a bit on the nose. <laughs> I don't know, I use that to do a heist, and I feel like it's weird to just be wandering around in it. But, um, um what I think I'll do is when I do the, the other stuff before the main quests, I might just stick it back on for a bit, and I'll explain what it is after I've talked to Olgird. So I'll, I'll go and talk to him first, then I'll explain what today's plans are. But I, I gotta give this house to him, and, um, for a herring. Yeah, we got, we got to see what he thinks. I mean, we obviously we've kind of we've we've gaunted him a bit, so we'll see what the reaction is. Need to chat. I'm all ears, Witcher. Okay, we got Borsodi's house for you. Right, emphasis on the house. <laughs> Look, he's just gonna have to deal with it. All right. Got something for you. I love gifts, but I prefer to unwrap them in private. Oi, lads, mind the barrels. Going out for a jabber with Geralt. Come. Oh, that's better. All right, what do you have for me? Max Persodi's house, as requested. The papers. Where are they? Left them in the vault. You wanted the house, you got the house. Never mentioned its contents. You're a quick study. Already as tricky as Odim himself. Keen to ridicule a man. Do you know what I and the company do with your type? Ask for legal advice. <laughs> <laughs> ah, Geralt, you are... <laughs> okay, dying to hear. Oh, we gotta go for the, uh, ask for legal... Well, because obviously it's, a, uh, It's gotta be a joke about how Orgir d didn't, didn't ask for the papers, he asked for the house, so we're like, oh, you... Maybe you should get some better legal advice. <laughs> and I'll, I'll give it to you. No, yeah, right, okay, yeah, for sure. Dunno. Ask for legal advice? Looks to me like you might need some. You signed the contract, Olgird. I'm just fulfilling its terms, to the letter. Unhappy? Hell, should have chosen your words more carefully. Yes, I should have. I assume you came to an agreement with Horst. Shame. A right horse in that one. Made a deal with his brother, who then beat the living shit out of Horst with a gold candle holder. Huh. It's progress. Uh, I kind of want to tell him the full um, story. Did you know Horst had a brother? I'm actually gonna I'm gonna ask all these dialogue options. I think the order you have to do it is there to there to there to there. From what I remember ages ago, I think, because otherwise you like lose this option or something. But no, I guess um, Olgir did kind of get what he wanted, because I feel like he particularly, well, in particular, he wanted to punish Horst, right? Because he was the one that would have been in charge when I imagine his house was taken. I mean, it could have been. No, I think it was Horst. Um, so, um, you know, I'm sure he's more happy that we went with you old than, than, than not. So, he, you know, he kind of got half gaunted. So let's ask if he even knew. Horst's brother. Did you know about him? I should think so. Yuld was famous in certain circles. Which ones? The kind noble witches don't usually associate with. He murdered for coin, no questions. Without batting an eye. Always extravagantly, though. 
If not for his damn surname, I believe I'd have invited him to join the company. Ah, so he, he probably is pretty happy that, you know, we, we got the auction house to Yule instead of um, Horst. I mean, he just doesn't like the fact he's a boss Sodi, which is kind of understandable. I mean, we'll hear the story soon, but um, let's ask why he needed the papers anyway. Why did you even need those papers? To sink the boss Sodis, naturally. You see, I learned of an interesting clause in old man Maximilian's will. It states that his sons must meet and shake hands in agreement at least once a year at Bellatane. Failing that, the auction house must be auctioned off. The proceeds to go to Bill Marius Hospital. Guess the old man sensed what might happen. Aim to deliver those papers to the right hands. Borsodi would have landed in the streets. And the hospital would have gotten the funds it needs to treat orphans and beggars pro bono. Awfully noble of you, showing so much concern for the needy. I couldn't give a rat's ass about the needy. May they wither and disappear along with the city. I wanted one thing. Revenge. Hmm. I mean, it does make me think about the decision I made, but the way I see it, Geralt, first of all, didn't know that going in. Second of all, it's like he he went there with Yuld. Would he realistically just... I mean, he might... I don't know. I just... I. I can understand all sides. I, I feel like I am happy with what I went with, though. You know, on reflection, I am happy with it. Okay, the Borsodis, what's your gripe? The Borsodis? What's your gripe? Get kicked out of an auction? Worse. They evicted me from my home. Are you really interested? Um, yeah, yeah, I am. Wouldn't have asked if I wasn't. Ha! <laughs> Cheeky as ever. My family... They took on some debt, a poor investment in a sawmill, a bad crop one year, a lawsuit lost. You know how it is. When it rains, it pours. We needed but a few weeks to recover, but Horst Borsodi had acquired our debt. All of it. Demanded it be repaid immediately. I pleaded. I begged. I tore open my shirt at his threshold. Ugh. It was like talking to a wall. I went to the auction, saw those perfumed pricks by my father's sword, my mother's death mask, my brother's horse tack. Ah, horse earned a pretty pile selling our mementos. No surprise the animosity you feel for him. That was but the start. My Iris's parents learned of my family's misfortune, and our betrothal was no more. They found her another suitor, one from beyond the sea. The anger I felt, I thought I'd gone mad. Went to the tavern, drank around, a second, a broad, then had another tankard. And then, then I asked the wrong bloke for help. Well, you see guys, this is why I I understand, sort of, that Olgird is not a is not a particularly nice person, right? Like, I, I understand that he is not a nice person. But when you understand his side of the story, and you see just how desperate he was, you know, imagine going from being a, li a, lit a literal noble <laughs> with, like, a massive estate, you know, your whole life, and then with within a matter of, like, days losing all of that, and the person you were going to marry and you'd love for years and everything else, and you're just completely alone. It's like, no, no wonder he went to Odim and he didn't realize how screwed over he'd be. You, it is also the same that he did then agree to it, but I think he just got to a point where he was just mentally, he just would agree to anything to get back to that point. And um, obviously it hasn't worked out. But, you know, we punished Horst for him. I mean, obviously what Horst did there was just not not nice at all, so I'm sure he is happy about you all taking over. Um, pretty sad story, finish up, what happened then? I mean, we kind of knew a lot of this. Not We know more detail now from Olgid himself, but we've read a lot of notes here and there about this whole situation. So, you know, we, we kind of knew a bit of this, but it's good to get his story. I, w I want to know what happened. I just want to know what happened. What happened then? Ah, uh, what happened then, Witcher, was one big stinking pile of shite. Well, why do you stand there? Do you need something still? Uh, 
Okay, third task, tell me about it. Yep, this is this is where we're at, I guess. God, he's, he's not happy, I can understand, though. We'll find out about what happened next soon. Third wish, time you stated it. A moment, Geralt. I will say to something, then we'll chat. You there, yank the herring out the barrel. this dallying. Now, ready to listen? Or do you still not give two shites about what I've got to say? I'm ready. I'm listening. Good. You'll return to your lord and tell him as follows. His demand was brazen. Hurt me to the core. For I was brought up to respect the sacred law of hospitality. And I shall not bend to an uncouth boar's dictum. Understood. I will pay him a visit shortly to test his willingness to adapt. So you ride off and announce me. And don't spare your horse. Got it? Aye, got it. Give this man a mount and leave him go. Come with you. We must talk outside. The Afiri believe one should only discuss important matters out of doors, with the gods as witnesses. Hmm. Still having said all that, it's clear he's not a particularly nice, nice person. Um, although it's not like... Uh, I don't know, I don't know. Okay, I don't know, right. Why were you keeping <laughs> the man in a barrel? Barrel. What was that about? On the way here, we stopped for nourishment at a tavern belonging to one Lord Dauntless. We enjoyed ourselves as one does at an inn, raucously. Our antics were not to the liking of this Dauntless. Sent a man to warn us that if we were ever to return, we would hang. You burned the inn down? I left ample compensation with the innkeep. But it seems the rapscallion neglected to mention this to his lord. But that's of little import. What matters is someone called me a horsin and threatened to kill me. It was one of those threats that sound like an invitation. I intend to accept it. Return to those parts. Mm, it makes it a little bit more understandable, but still, it's like, mm, you shouldn't have really burnt someone's inn down, even if you paid them. It's like, you know, sentimental value, all that. Uh, I guess we'll do it. We'll explore the dialogue. Must have made quite a few enemies along the way. Maybe not today and not tomorrow, but someday, someone will find a way to take you down. And that should trouble me why. I feel no fear, no regret. The wise men of Oxenfurt claim there are no gods. After death, there is only the void. I've known this void already. Death holds no surprises. Ah, you said it. Okay, right. Third task, let's talk about it. Fulfilled two of your wishes. Time I learned the third. Confident, aren't you? Proud, sure of your strengths. Fearless. Third task, if you don't mind. Mutations. They stripped you of emotion. Tell me, have you ever loved? I mean, truly loved. Your third wish now. Yes, I've loved. No, I've never loved. You don't give a shit. Well, this this question is leading into the third wish. You know what, all good. I'll tell him. You know, we got the whole thing with Yennefer. Yeah, yeah. I, I, Geralt has, you know, and he doesn't need to hide it. He's he's uh, he doesn't he doesn't need to hide things. I don't know. You know what I mean? I think it's fine. To tell him. Yeah, I've loved. Can we get to the matter at hand? Perhaps instead we ought to sit down inside, have a good chat over some fiery water. I don't want to drink with you. Once it's over, once the job's done. Yeah, okay. He, he's trying to stall. I think we uh we we just need to get this job done. But I I it's not that I don't want to drink with him. It's that you know I don't know. Right. We'll drink once the job's done. 
Afraid that's impossible. Succeed, and that's the end of me. Fail, and you'll not be back. Third wish. Still waiting to hear it. Why? Aren't you stubborn? Fine. Listen well. I had a wife once. The day I saw her last, I gave her a rose. A violet one. Bring me that blue. Wouldn't mind reminding myself what it looks like. <sighs> When was that? How long's it been? Flowers wilted and turned to dust by now. You wished to hear a wish. Now you out. Fulfill it. I ride now to visit this dauntless, but one of my men will remain here. He'll know how to find me. That is, of course, should you succeed. At least you could tell me where your wife is. In my old manor. East of Martin Foy's farmstead. I'd wish you Godspeed, but, well, you understand, I'm sure. Goodbye, Geralt. Hmm. Okay, well, that's the third wish. Scenes from a marriage go to the Von Everick Manor. Right, well, before we do that, guys, I'm going to give you a breakdown of of, um, of, of what we'll be doing today, and I'll, I'll get somewhere a bit quieter. Okay, guys, I'm at the Novigrad docks. I'm going to open my inventory before people start um, shouting at me, but <laughs> I'm going to tell you what we're doing today. So, first things first, before I get into this, I want to put on the New Moon armor. Just just for this little thing before I get into the actual quests, just because I feel like it'd be cool to wear it. I don't necessarily want to wear it in the in-game cutscenes, because it's okay, but I feel like it's it's a bit... It's it's more like heisty and all that. And also, someone told me that I sold a really good armor, so I went and found it. Uh, I think I sold it to the smith at Crow's Perch, so I went and bought that back. Um, the reason it's really good is because it has 100% resistance to bleeding, but I don't really want to wear it. I just... I, I can't be bothered, but if it's unique and it's cool, like I want to have it, so I'm uh, keeping that on. So no, I did that. Um, um, we had the Aferi crossbow too. I need to put that in my storage at some point, but no, so I'm gonna put that on. But what the plan is now, you might actually be wondering, why are we why are we even in the Novigrad Harbor? What, what are we doing here? Well, pretty much, guys. Um, I want to finish everything in the base game slash Hearts of Stone, and it's pretty much just base game stuff, really. Because you might not know this, but there are a lot of secondary quests in The Witcher 3 that have no markers. So as in, I've done all the markers, right, but there are secondary quests that you just kind of stumble across. I've stumbled across a few while I've played the game. One of them would have been in the sewers, where I found that vampire guy just in the, uh, in the crypt, remember? But there's loads of them. There's absolutely loads of them. So what I did in the lead-up to today's part is I went and found every single quest that I need to still do and the way I did it is I basically found a, a map of all the quests online for every zone and I went to every single point on those maps even ones that I'd already done just to check if I'd done it or not and I, I made a um like a mark of which quests I haven't done yet to then do in today's part I literally just ran past saw if the exclamation mark appeared and then I um ran away and went and found another one um so the first one of these little quests you'll, if you don't understand guys you, you'll get it as I as I do them but I want to do all of these first. They're quite fun. They're little hidden quests. You might not have even done them yourselves. But the first one is around about here. So this is the first one I marked down that I need to go and do. So I'm going to go do that now. I'm going to wear this armor while I do it. Who knows, guys? I might even hit level 39 by the end. I really, really doubt it. Um, but then we can use the Viper armor before the, before the playthrough is over. So, you know. I'll probably be wearing that at the start in Tucson anyway. But, uh, right. So there should be one here. I think it's these two. Ah, you see? Cat. I'll carve your mug so not even a blind man will put his Let's cock anywhere near. Let's go kill some near. monsters. I'll do the cutting. You come any closer? Wrong kind of lip. Oh. Good start. What's going on here? Fuck all to do with you. Piss off. Lady doesn't feel like talking to you. I can handle this. Shut your trap. Um... Oh, God, I just knocked my mouse. Hang on. Get lost or die. Leave or die. Want me to get rid of him. I'm going to use my... Um... I mean, do I not just want him to... Because he'd probably just do it again. Uh, I'm done here. I'm just going to say get lost. Get lost. Uh, um... Who told you to butt in, eh? Huh? You all right, darling? This masquerade... Just not a good idea, I don't think. Oh, see what you've done? He's broken character now. 
I think I'll be on my way. I should think so. Oh, <laughs> well, <laughs> I'm sorry about that. Uh, right, guys. Well, we um, I, 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 we, we, we did it. I don't know. We did something there. Something happened. We told him to go. They, they, it turns out they were role playing. I think we interrupted something. Um, let's. <laughs> should, should, we, should we? Should we move on, guys? Do you want to just, do you want to just move on. I mean, yeah. Okay. You know what? I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna move on. Okay. Right, well, the next one is also in Novigrad that I, I missed. Some, somehow, I don't know how I've missed these guys, legitimately. They're in quite cool areas, though, you know? They're quite cool. Um, probably be quicker to go back to the, the Novigrad marker here, won't it? Ah! Whoa. Look, these, these guys. So this is another one I missed. It's really cool, guys. You might not have seen half of these, because they're actually quite hard to find. I, was spend, I spent so long looking for all the ones I'd missed. There's only a few. There's not that many, actually. I didn't miss many. There was, there was a lot of secondary quests in this game that are, that, um, that are unmarked, so you have to discover them just by walking there. And I've done a lot of exploration, but a lot of these areas just coming. don't require you to... What the... Somebody come in. What? Oh my god. What? These are dwarves. And there's an elf there cleaning it. Is this like a... Are these like Cleaver's men or are these actual just normal people? Oh my god, that is awful. Uh, okay, right, well, let's carry on. So this is a really cool area, guys. I don't think I've ever actually been here. No, well, as in, you know, on the playthrough. I never, I never bothered, really. But look, yeah, they're like making bricks, which is cool. Um, and then also down here is like they're making a bunch of dye, it looks like, which is so cool. Look at this cool little area. Like, it's so, such cool little unique also things, you know? Fire. Look at it. How cool is this? Right, yeah, so it's down here. There you go. Getting cold. Fuck. Leave me be. I didn't even glance at her. Meaning what? Saying she's ugly? Why, oh, I'm gonna... Okay. Well, let's sort this out, guys. Enough. Leave him alone. Oi, you a non-humanophile, is that it? What? Um, okay. I said leave him alone. If there's one thing I hate, it's to repeat myself. Leave him be. Hey lads! Got one eager for a lick in here. Let's show him what happens to freak lovers in Novigrad. I have actually done this one in a previous playthrough. Like, I, I, I actually remember doing it. I think, I, I guess, non-human or file would, um, would be that you love non-humans, right? Look, I'm just gonna let him come to me. Thank you, Vatgern. If you hadn't intervened, they'd have snipped my ears like they did Phalar's. Or worse. It's no problem, man. I'd, um, I'd get out of Novigrad if I were you. I'd leave Novigrad if I were you. How about that? Non-humans bother you as well? Me? No. The Eternal Fire, yes. They've got other scapegoats to burn right now, but it won't be long before they come for you. I don't believe they will. They'd not dare go that far. I was in Rivia in 1268, during the massacre. Know exactly what I'm talking about. Oh god, yeah. That, I mean, well... Spoilers for the books, guys, just for half a second. You can skip forward for like 10 seconds, you'll be past it, but um, that's why Geralt died. Te technically in the books. Take care of yourselves now. Meaning? What would you have me do? Never leave my home? Step off the pavement to let a human pass? Farewell. Well, you know what? We, we helped you out there, man. We can't, you know, just live here. I mean, it's it's awful, and you know, we, you know what? We we fuck. I don't want to swear. We killed Radovid. That's enough. You'll be fine, mate. Don't worry. Things all things will start clearing up around here. And the Nilf Guardians come in. I think they like elves. They they take pride in their elven heritage. You know, speaking of elves, guys, I, I have a video idea um, that I was actually thinking about in a an old law video. I'm just gonna set up for the next the next little quest I gotta do. But it was an old law video. Um, I think it was when I did it on. It was on my, it was a like a school of vipery type thing. It's when I was I made my character Letho and I ran around in the game and stuff. 
Um, I think it's actually in White Orchard, the next one, which is very interesting. I, I'm, I'm having to guess based off these things I've got, which is kind of hard. Um, no, and um, if you notice, because I, I was when I, I was actually in White Orchard, and I was looking specifically for like a smith, I think, and I was trying to find some elves to to say that oh, and Beauclair was made by elves in Tucson, and then I couldn't find a single elf in the entirety of Tucson, and I looked into it a bit, and it turns out that they. <laughs> It, it's thought they might have pretty much just exterminated them because obviously it was a originally an elven palace and it's thought that they I think it's here I have to go that they pretty much exterminated all the the elves and I, I was thinking of making a video about why that happened and all the rest and discussing it but that would be like a short video I thought it might be quite fun I thought it was an interesting tidbit that um, it was a while ago I, I noticed all this what the hell why is there just a, a white roach here also known as a white horse, but it, it's like where Roach would normally be, I feel. Okay. No, so I, that might be a video I could make. You know, that might be quite fun. If not, there, there's a free idea for someone. <laughs> Enjoy. <laughs> I think maybe I will. You know, maybe I will. So this is apparently where another marker was. Oh! Oh, fuck it. Look. Okay, look, I'll help you, man. What, what's happening? I'll go and deal... I remember now, I have a conversation with Tomoira that I never followed up on, so I made a, a note of coming back here. Because my whole thing is that once I get to Tucson, I would ideally like to not have to come back to uh, this area, which I know seems a bit depressing, but it's because I don't want to have a reason to. I want to have done everything and just... You know, when the Witcher 3 playthrough eventually ends, I want it to be like it ended in Tucson and we never... Came back. I mean, we might have to for some things, guys. I'm going to be honest. Uh, stuff happens. But, um, no, I thought if I finish all these little secondary things that I never followed up on, all the rest, I, I won't have to, you know? So, here's Tamora. Yes. Do you remember her? Right from the start of the playthrough. And I have to ask about Lena, who is the person that we gave the swallow potion, I think? Did we give it to them in the end? I think we did. Where's Lena? Something happened? She was getting better. Then the guardians came, carried her off. Elf Guardians? Why? What did they want with her? I've no notion. They don't explain what they do. It's not in their custom. Oh. Okay. Right, well... I think we already asked her what her story was, Tell right? Tell me something. A sad one. Do you know the Temple of Melitale in Alanda? Do I know it? Can't remember how many times I've been there. How many times Mother Nenica stitched me up. We must have missed each other. I started to become a healer under Mother Nenica. Hmm. I was but 18 when they took me in. An age at which teachings interest one far less than love. There was a boy, Goslath. He'd bare his chest to work. The novices couldn't keep their eyes off him, tripped over their own feet, dropped things. I left the temple for him. We passed a lovely summer together, and then he left. Nenake refused to take me back. My parents uttered not a word. Gave me a travel cloak and a small coin pouch. I struggled long to find a place where I'd feel safe, needed, until I finally arrived here. End of story. Did I? I keep on knocking my mouse. Uh, did I ever have that conversation with Farewell. her? I'm not even sure. Right, well, I finished that off, guys. That was a nice little thing. I mean, I'm not sure if we've already done that in the past, but we'll we'll see. I'm going to head to the next thing, guys, and I will, um, I'll, I'll see you there, I suppose. I'm, I'm going to have to try and find it. Okay, guys, well, I've made it to the, the area that is close to the next one. I think this is the town where Gaunter was, maybe. Oh, yeah, there you go. Um, okay, right, awesome. So it should just be up here. This should be the next quest that I uh, that you you have to discover. I'll actually show you guys the location of these, just so you don't miss them. So this is near Yantra, just up north. You might have missed this yourself. You never know. It's quite hidden, actually. Here you go. Traveler, hello. Come sit with us. Will do. Curious place for a conversation about art. Anywhere is good for that. It's simply a matter of summoning inspiration. Vodka, for example, is a great aid. Care to drink with us? To poetry? Sure, why not? We'll do it. And if only Dan Dandelion was here, you know? Why not? I am a bit thirsty. And when a man is thirsty, melancholy strangles his soul. Poor Gascoigne! Gentlemen, I am so pickled crocked and stewed 
<laughs> Want another term for your state? Don't be vulgar. What will our new friend think? Pour another. Last round for me. Had enough, boys. Yeah, let's have another one. Let's go. Let's keep going. Fine. Last round for me, though. Vodka's gone, as are the troubadours. And my things. Damn it. Thank God we super glued our medallion to our our um our, our our body. Oh Christ, have they literally taken every Oh, okay, they haven't taken everything. You know what? I'm gonna I'm gonna RP this. I've got nothing, they took everything. I've just got my new moon trousers. Geralt, you're looking wonderful, mate. Okay, haha, -ha, okay. You know, actually, I'll go check back at the camp. I wonder if there's any markings there, because I just kind of headed directly to the... Uh -huh. That's a lot of bottles. We must have had quite the night. Damn it. Damn it. This is why you don't drink and hang out with strangers, guy. Wait. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. I, 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 that's a good message, maybe. Footprints. Fresh. Fresh footprints, huh? Okay, let's find them, guys. Okay, okay, they're just the same. Hmm. God, Geralt is very scarred, isn't he? Very, very often, very little, I guess. You you see him um, doing his doing his, his topless walking. <laughs> okay, look, um, that was odd. Um. Aha! Uh -huh. Know what rhymes with wicked witcher? My things, before I turn you into mincemeat. Must be a slant rhyme. Shut your trap and give it back. So then, we are square. Even good, yes? Let's extort some money. <laughs> yeah, you know what? <laughs> you know what? You know what? They did just give it back. No, they'll give me their things. Not quite. We'll be good once you give me your things. All of them? You can keep your knickers. I this this is the outcome I wanted. This this is, is this is exactly it. Do I even have do I have their outfits? Can I wear that weird little hat? Damn it, I wanted to wear that weird little hat so much. Duh. Okay, whatever. <laughs> oh my god, I feel kind of bad. Um, <laughs> see, guys, this is what you've been missing out on. This is all the little cute little side quests you can do, you know? They're, they're all hidden. You have to find them. God, that, I feel bad about that. Um, okay, should we should we go find the next one? Right, I'll go find it, guys. I'll, get, I'll do it for us. Okay, guys, I'm at the signboard nearest to the next one. I just got there then. The next one is down there, if you want to do it yourself. It's quite, these are so hidden, no wonder I missed them. They're just completely out of the way. There was no reason for me to go there other than exploration, but, you know, I feel like I've done a lot of exploration. I, I went and did every single marker. I just ha must have just gone routes that required me to not go past these things. You know, it's like, as much as I love it, like, I, I just very rarely do I think, oh, you know what? I want to have a look at this tiny little path in the middle of nowhere. It's like, I guess, I guess... But you're right, okay, it's there, it's there. I mean, I, I think I've done a few of these in the past. There have definitely been a couple today I haven't actually done before, like the uh, the one in Novigrad with the um, the two people. I don't, I don't remember ever having done that before. Oh, but this is cool. Another one. Run along home with the rest. Sir, show some mercy. We've not got nowhere to go. For us, it's Novigrad or death. I did enough for you lot. Sod off. Or I'll have you skewered. Let them through. You need to go back. Oh. Oh. Well. This feels like the, you know, you have someone that you catch stealing an apple, but they're just stealing it to feed their family, isn't it? You know what? I'm going to say let him through. I, I disagree with Radovid. <laughs> you know what? <laughs> we killed their king. We can let some peasants through. I don't care. They seem desperate. Let them through. 
Can't see any harm in it. Fucking hell. How many times have I got to repeat this? I've orders to turn back anyone who don't show a pass. Oh, I don't want to pay him. Yeah, we're just gonna, we're just gonna, we're just gonna witch a mind trick him, you know? We're gonna axe him. That was a deer. Let these people pass. Yes, sir. Thank you. We got nowhere to go back to. Novigrad, that's a chance of a new life. Stay off the roads. Liable to run into another patrol. Shan't be taken like that again. We would be as careful as hares in a field bared by winter. But you, you was cast in a different mold than us. More like the hero that lies in the tomb neath Crookback Hills. Tomb's in a cave in a hillside. Down Warren's at the foot of the hill. Folks say treasure inside's a sight to behold. Huge hoard. Might find something that suits you. Good luck. Oh, thank you. Wait, where was it? Down Warren in a cave? And... Okay, that was a... That was a long... Long list of instructions. Um, <laughs> where do I go? Sorry? Down Warren treasure cl cave. Down... Where's Down Warren again? It's like, it's in the swampy area, right? Ah, uh, the Down Warren. Oh, does he mean... I think, I think he means Dragon Slayer's Grotto. If that, if he's talking about a treasure cave, you know, obviously a cave right there, near the Down Warren, I'm going to assume it's Dragon Slayer's Grotto. Okay, so we told me about something I already know about. Well, cool, thanks, refugee. Um... Oh, they got a cool little boat. Okay. Well, that's another mission done, guys. I think that the next one, from memory, is actually just down here somewhere. I mean, I'll check my um, my my help here. I've I've got like um various ones that I know I need to do. Okay, so it's 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 if I just head down this road, it'll um it'll pick up. I also noticed, oh, it's gone. But there was another one of those white roaches around. Not sure how I feel about it. I'm so used to just seeing roach. I mean, I'm not using roach at the moment, but that's because they're so close, and there's not really much point. Aha, uh -huh, see. Well, here you go, guys. See, you guys, I feel like you might not have done all of these. A lot of you might have done a lot of them, but all of these, without having looked anywhere, is very hard to do, for sure, because they're so, like, hidden. I cannot believe it. Don't Looks like a Kaviri mage. Greetings. What is it, hmm? Don't mind him. Sit with us. You're most welcome to. Though be warned, we're in the middle of some serious studying, as our learned companion calls it. Glad to join. I'll also say, guys, I think I've done every single Hearts of Stone thing that's like, you know, a hidden secondary quest or anything like that. I think I've already done all of those, in case anyone's wondering about that. Okay, glad to join you. Thanks. Be happy to join you. What do they call you? Geralt. I'm gonna, I'm gonna tell him. I'm Geralt of Rivia. I'm a witcher. They call me Rufus, and this here learned fellow is Theophile Maria Roscoe, and, and this is... Uh... Sorry. Manfred. I'm Manfred. Uh, exactly. Uh, Geralt. I've heard that name before. You frequent the fairs? Nope. You've confused him with Gerard. The stage artist who indeed attends fairs and breaks wind to the tune of popular melodies. To the delight of the crowds, I'd add, our guest is none other than the White Wolf himself. Well, my apologies. Ain't you the one that... You know, the, the room was about Foltest's death. No, wasn't me. Hmm. Alleg allegedly. Allegedly. <laughs> Look, it was Letho. It wasn't us. We did let Letho go, but... You know, it was a different time, guys. That was that was literally years ago for me at this point. It was a long time ago. Okay, what's new in the world these days? Any news of the war, for instance? They say the Black Ones will mount a new offensive soon to cross the Pontar. I bet diamonds to peanuts Radovid won't manage to repel this time. Such a shame Henselt perished in Lormark. Blasted Dragon Slayer! Right you are. With Henselt alive, Nilfgaard wouldn't have had it so easy in the East. The Emperor's sure to take Novigrad soon. He'll seize the Temple Vault, the City Armada, the West will be all but his as well. You know a lot for an ordinary merchant. I do. What of it, hmm? 
just that it makes me like you even less. First you ask about the message I'm carrying. Now you say you're waiting for Nilfgaard to cross the Pontar. You better come with me. I know some people who'd want to talk to you. You'll have to kill me first. If needs must. Hands off the merchant. Calm down, both of you. Yeah, I'm going to say that. The merchant reminds me of a... Some sort of spy, maybe? Relax. A misunderstanding. That's all this is. Hold him, Witcher. I'll find a rope. Ha! Not a chance! Fine, I'll hold him. Rather stay out of this. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna hold him. I mean, I th I'm pretty sure he's a spy, guys. I think he might be an elf guardian spy, but um, I'm gonna stay out of it. You know, I don't want to hold. I'm not holding him. I'd actually rather help him, but there's no option. So. Sorry, not about to get involved. I'll fucking manage on my own. Oh, oh, wonderful. Oh my god, he immediately killed him. Just immediately. Guardian, less. Can't actually know he was a spy. Oh, he was, he was. I know him on sight. See my share. On your way now, you're no use to us. Fucking neutrality. Fatherland needs to be defended. I mean, you've already lost, mate. I'm just saying. Uh... Yeah, I think I could have helped him, but I, I, I actually am pretty certain he was an Elf Guardian spy. First full of Elf Guardian Florins. Oh, okay, so yeah, he was an Elf Guardian spy. Um, don't know how I feel about that one. I don't know if I necessarily agree, but yet again, they are kind of at war with each other. He decided to be a spy. He decided to be a soldier. They kind of, you know, they had a fight. They had a trial by combat, so to speak. I sort of, I get it, you know, it's, I mean, it's, it's not great, but what are you going to do? Okay, the next one is here. I'm going to, I'm going to go there now. You guys have already seen where it is, so I'll just head over there now, and I'll, uh, I'll get back to you guys on that one. What? What? That's, that's three horses in... Oh, this is weird. This is very weird. Oh my god. What what is this? It's like a human. No, it's a it's a it's a it's a horse centipede. Equus centipedes. <laughs> that's, that's so weird. I don't like it. <laughs> okay. Okay, guys. I am pretty much there. This is apparently where the next one is. I want to see what's going on here. Um, I think it's this guy, right? Yeah. Will do. What's the matter? Woodland spook done took me mare the other night, and there I were, so content the war had spared her. A woodland spook? Aye, as me forefathers told it, comes at midnight, sprinkles blood on your threshold so as none'll wake, then it steals. Er, uh, would you search out me mare for me? Chat with the wood dweller, perchance he'll give her back? Um, how much do I get for finding your horse? Just not my line of work. A lot of horses disappear around here. I mean, I'll ask that first. Horses disappear around here often? Nay, sir. Not many horses at all these days. Soldiers took all that didn't die. But me neighbour had a steed. Then two nights passed. Whoosh! Spook took him. Times passed. It were maybe a cow getting milked at night or a hen nipped here or there. But now... Uh, interesting. Okay, uh, how much do I get? Yeah, we're gonna ask, guys, look. How much will you give me if I find your horse? Give ye... a fifth of vodka. Sound all right? It'd sound fine if you changed that fifth to five, then added jugs at the end, then offered me the equivalent in crowns. Well, fine. Have it your way. Just bring her back. She's a grey mare, mind ya. None too large. Even spooks leave tracks. Let me look around, see if I can find some. Okay, spooked mare, let's have a look. It's crazy how many like little quests there are. Another track. There's not many more guys, there's a, there's a few more, there's a few more. But the, I've got to go to Skelliger and some other places. But th there's not too many, there's not too many is what I'm trying to say here. It's good though, I like it, it's quite a nice little quest actually. Then we'll go and um, go and have a see what's going on with Iris. 
Uh, aha. Uh -huh. I'm hearing a lot of wolves. Okay. Um. Alright. Aha. Uh -huh. Oh. Oh, it's Squirtel with some horses. No closer. Nothing here for you, Vatgern. Need that many horses? Need that many horses? Your light brigade planning to charge straight into Radovid's camp? We need them to transport the wounded. Uh-huh. Local peasants must have charged you a bundle for them. If we could afford to purchase horses, we would not be starving. Uh... Yeah, this is a hard one. Um... Because they did steal it, but... It, it's like... It's like they are starving, and... I mean, we saw that thing with the dwarves earlier. Do we really want to be... I'm, I'll always help the Scoia'tael guys, you know, I... Especially in this situation, if they'd literally just stolen them and were using them to fight and stuff, I would have been like, okay, look, you're giving it back, but if it's the sick and wounded and all that... You know, you might think he's being soft and all that, I'm just like, look... Uh, I feel like they do need it more. I mean, no, the peasants aren't exactly in the best position, but... No, they gotta, it's gotta go back to him. Gotta take one of the horses back to its owner. You sound certain, but should you be? What now? Will you kill what remains of our unit for one old nag? Um, you'll give it to me willingly if you make me. Look, guys, I, I, I think I should just give it back to him. I just kind of thought, look, if, imagine if I had a horse and I was attached to it and all that, and then someone stole it, and then someone had the option to get it back to me, and then I was, I don't know, I don't know. You'll give it to me, willingly. Take one horse, that I'll allow. Contract on our lives. Wonderful. We need only wait. I'm just gonna quickly make a save in case they kill me, but I'm, I'm also gonna take all this. <laughs> Mine. Look, they don't need it, alright? They don't need that. Elaine Dara. Hey! What's up, mates? It's, it's this one, right? It was a grey one, he said. This is the only grey one. Come on. Right, I'm taking one. Just one, guys. You've got, you got, you still got like three. Look, you'll be all right. This is, I, this is what I agree with, you know? It's a compromise. I get one horse, they can keep all the other stolen horses, but I, I, I need to get this back to its owner. It's not theirs. Oh, this roach better not find out about this. Oh God, roach is right there. Roach, roach, this is not what it looks like. <laughs> okay. Which oh, man is she it? even jumped over the fence perfectly. Look, roach, there's nothing. Won't matter. He said it was a grey one. This is grey, no? Yeah, th this was the only grey one. The rest were like brown and I think one was black. So yeah, it's fine. Slow now. I think that's fine. What say you, sir? Uh, is this your horse? Oh, I can't see any. Um, okay, well this is what we're dealing with, guys. This your mare? Aye, I'd recognize her anywhere. Come on, Jumper, you've got some explaining to do. Where'd you wander off to, anyway? And here's yours, sir, as agreed. Thanks, so long. I mean, I didn't do it for money, but I, uh, I should have probably just paid the score. I don't, I don't know, they stole it, I had the option, you know, it's not too bad, I think. I'm getting, like, no experience from this. Right, okay, well, that's another mission down, guys. Let's get another one of these done, let's just bang through them, you know? Okay, guys, I'm pretty much there. I can see it already happening, um, so I'm just gonna pull you right back in, I'll show you where it is afterwards, but I'm gonna help this troll out. Poor troll. Okay, so let me just quickly show you. It's here. If you want to do it yourself, right here. Okay. You okay? Oh. I don't want to kill the troll. Boris! Oh my god. His name's Boris. Oh, 
Ah, ha, ha. Final quiet, ha. Huh? Good time man comes, ha, huh? ha, ha. Greeny me a bubble gun. What you got in the pot? Oh, super la cops. Trolls old family. Much goods, ha, <laughs> ha. Slinks, froggies, bone helps. Joy smell sticks. Last, one necro. For flavor full. <sighs> Nothing else in there, Necro. Uh, I'm, uh, we'll ask. Put anything else in the soup? No humans, I hope. Mans? No. Mans some gibber. Interesting. Mans no gibber. Go in port. You like talking to humans? Yeah. Necras. Cool was. Dun dun. No gibber at all. Actually talked to a ghoul once. Found him quite eloquent. Gibbering ghoul? No! <laughs> that like. Uh, like. Cucumber singing! Or oh, some this. Kind, nice man. Troll help. Take. Award. This is the head of an elf. Elf is good. Like tomato. What the. What? Oh, um... Okay... You give me the head of an elf? I think the talking go- Oh my god, I literally have the head of an elf in my- What? Where- where, where does it- where does it go under? If it was on Roach, that would be absolutely hilarious. Oh my god, what the- f Oh my god. <laughs> what the fuck? Okay, well, um, thanks, troll. I'm glad I came all the way out here for the, the elf head. Um, I'm just gonna check if we got anything else while I'm here, if that's cool. Um. Yeah, you got some stuff. You got some stuff. You were hiding it from me. I'm assuming this is probably a human camp, yeah. At some point, at least. Oh, what was that? Some, like, some herbs or something, I think, at the bottom. Okay, can I still talk to Boris? What time, man? No, no, I'm Something good, man. I'm good. It's, it's, uh, it's, 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 we, we had a fun conversation, but that's enough. Okay, right. Yeah, I think it was like in a cemetery in the Witcher 1, the ghoul thing. I don't think I did that, though. <laughs> I just remember doing that at some point in the past. I don't know. I'm assuming that's what... Unless it was something else that I might, might have missed. I feel like it was the Witcher 1 thing, though, right? Okay, right. Next thing. I guess I'll just head there right now. Okay, guys, I have pretty much made it to the next one. I think it kicks me right into it, so it's uh, it's here. If you don't know where it is, just on the map. There you go. And, yeah, we're just going to get straight into it. Another little secondary quest. Let's get it done. Boy. Whoa there, Roach. Ever eaten tree bark? Me, I've got splinters coming out my ass for me. Oh, look, we got ourselves a customer. Not about to buy anything from you. Uh, afraid you're mistaken. If we're to let you pass, you gotta pay. And if I don't? <laughs> then you die. Go ahead, try to take my coin. See this medallion? I'm gonna say that first. See this medallion? Uh, Gaffer! Gaffer! Shut it, Solbeck. Aye. Now I see it. We didn't mean no... Recognize the guild? Aye, master. Forgive us for not remarking on it earlier, please. Gaffer! Gaffer! Now listen. Might pass through again someday. Don't know when. But when I do, I don't want to run into you. That clear? As a summer's day, my lord. God speed you on your path. Gaffer! Well, Gaffer! Good. What is it now, Solbeck? Gaffer, he's a witcher. Solbeck. What? Shut it. Gaffer, Gaffer, what's this? What? Why is there footprints here? I'm gonna follow them. Oh. Well. I. I guess I. We got it. <laughs> I didn't even. 
Oh, guys, I gotta get rid of some of this stuff. Uh, I'll get rid of. I don't want to get rid of the wooden sword. I'm not sure where that's come from, but I, I hope that's not the one we are, uh, obviously. Because these aren't worth anything, guys. Okay. I mean, I should probably go sell some stuff before I carry on with all these quests, but. Um, yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll carry on for now. We'll carry on. Huh? I just happened to be on my... Guys, I've just spent a little bit of time. I was doing it in between markers. I, I um, I wanted to get a bunch of sign posts, so I've just been getting a couple, uh, that I've missed. I just happened to notice that I missed a couple, and, um, I, I just found this. This isn't even on my list, but I found this, which is interesting. Maybe it's new? Hello? What's all this? Not your concern, that's what. Looks like you could use some help. Not an expert or anything, but you two look like you could use some help. Aye, it's true, we could. Barn's full up with some manner of beast. Bar them inside, but that won't hold long. And we'll be in a world of woe once they're loose. We're not rich, but cut the filth down, and we will pay you. Um, yeah, I'll help, sure. Fine, I'll try to help you. We'll let you in the barn, then open the doors once it's over. Quick, Master Witcher, or they'll get out! Ghouls, huh? Like, this isn't even on the list that I, I have. It's done. Open the door. Corpses. That's what drew the ghouls. Oh. Okay. Another another messed up quest it feels like might be. Um <laughs> right. Uh okay, let's go have a chat. Use that barn as a cemetery? Uh, no. Why'd you ask? Found human remains inside. Several sets. They're what drew the necrophages. Uh, they was... they was bandits. When it was just coin they took, we lived and let live, so to speak. But when they dragged Hedy to the barn, we wouldn't take no more. Grabbed our pitchforks and... Well, you've seen how it ended. Yeah, they gotta they gotta remove those. Next time you kill someone, bury the bodies deep. Need to take care of these too, or they'll attract more corpse eaters. We'll do it. Thank you, Master Witcher. Right, you promised payment. Job's done. True enough. Here's your pay, and thanks for your help. Farewell. Well, that was that was interesting. That was a complete that was completely by chance. <laughs> I was just like, oh, I need to go and get the uh, the signboard over here. I haven't got yet. That'll be fun. And then I was like, oh, like this 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 one I just found here is not even on that list. That's insane. Okay, right. I'm gonna continue with this. Then I'll be back with you guys when I do another secondary quest. Just want to get a few of these things done first. Oh, this is a cool place. Calm down, mate. I might even pull you guys out to show you this one. A lot of these signboards have just been weird little roads, but this is a, a legitimate Eternal Fire shrine. Go, be gone. Hey, calm down, mate. Degeneracy, the downfall of civilization, moral decay. Yeah, this is cool as hell. Wow. Okay. What? There's a goddamn cave here. Guys, I'm telling you, the, the amount of random stuff in this game is unbelievable. Like, holy crap. Okay, right, carry on. Have I seriously never been to this lighthouse? Like, what what even is this? Let me let me just see. Ooh. But apparently, there's so many things in this game that like are so unobvious to go to. And it's 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 insane. There's nothing here, really. It's just a lighthouse. It's what you'd expect. If 
found nothing of any use. Oh no, hang on. Is there a way I can jump off this lighthouse without having to go all the way back down? Oh, another one. Is this one that I need to do? I'm currently still trying to get all the sign posts because I realize I haven't done that either. So I've just been doing that and I'm sort of discovering these as I go. Can I set the time today without this just failing? I just can't really see anything. Yeah, I can. Okay. Interesting. If you're wondering what I'm doing, sorry, I think I've explained, but I'm, I just kind of randomly decided to do this on a whim. But basically, there's a bunch of these signposts that I haven't got. And I'm aware I haven't got them, and I'm like, okay, I'm just going to try and get every signpost in the game as well. For fun, you know, it'll give me a bit... I don't know, it's fun. Okay. Hello. Got any vettles? Hungry like a wolf, I am. What's new in the broad world? Whoa, whoa. This here's a toll crossing. By what right? By the right of a prick up your backside, wise ass. Pay up or stop fucking swimming. Uh, let me pass. Let me through. Right, move on. Roads open. Oh, cool. Now the, the bridge is down. It was up before. That's pretty cool. Okay, nice. Well, here's the, the other signpost. I'm going to go continue with these guys. I'll show you when it, if I find anything interesting. Uh, most of these are just literally signed. Like, I've there was one up here, and I don't know if I'll show it or not, but there was one here, and I've literally done all the markers, but it was, like, just slightly down the beach, and it's, like, <laughs> they're so unbelievably easy to miss. It's so pointless doing this. I just... I don't know. I, like, I, I just want to do it. <laughs> I'm pretty going to skip most of it anyway, though, so it's fine. Oh... Um. Wolves will tear it to pieces. Gotta help. Oh. Okay, so I found another thing. Hello. Dog's tame. A pet. Wonder what it's doing here. Hmm, got a key so dear color. I think it wants me to follow. Oh, so this is what that thing before was. Okay, guys, I found another thing. To help. Do. Okay, well, this is interesting. Yeah, okay. No, I've, I've just been collecting markers and signposts and stuff, and I, I happen to find this dog. I was like, the hell? I mean, we'll see. This was one of the ones I was supposed to do. It just happened to be near a signboard, so I thought I'd pick it up. I went to the signboard, I went into one of the houses, I found this little thing, and I was like, eh? I mean, it seems like it's on decent health. I think I already cleared out anything. There wasn't really anything on the way though. I guess it just it has a health bar, cos. Ah! There's a guy. There was not a guy here before. There are many people here now. Ow. Something bad happened inside. Best go in and see. Yeah, I, I, there was a there was a dead guy. Yeah, yeah, there he is. I'm assuming that's the owner. Then it was under the floorboards. Looks uninhabited. There. I'm curious what else is in here. Something under the floorboards. Maybe they're loose, or I could just wedge one up. Oh, there you go. Diary of fire, fire swallower. Ah, oh, I'm trying to read it. I was at Log Muin, that's right. There's some, some, oh, this we already read this, I think. Oh, we, we scanned through it. We've already seen this. This is basically what happened in The Witcher 2. Um, 
Druz Druzes the hermit's notes. For years and years, I succeeded in living a quiet life, far from the stink and cry of the big city. When I entered this voluntary exile, I left the whole world behind and hoped it would do the same to me. Yet lately, I've noticed someone observing me. Times are unsettled, war turns men into wild beasts. I suspect it is not a friendly neighbor keeping an eye on me. Barry... Barry Licker? Bar Barry Licker. Barry... Barry y Yucca. I don't know. Barry Licker. The only companion in my solitude stands by the door at night and barks. What has happened to Alexis Hector Gizmo Dex? Hunger drives men to do the worst. Perhaps bandits now prowl the area. Fools, as they know I have nothing. Tomorrow I will attempt to explain everything to them. Oh, well, that did not work out. Dog's gone. Oh. Okay, well, um, another, another light-hearted quest out of the way. <laughs> what, why is there, oh, there's a troll by a bridge, this is kind of hilarious. What, how, why am I finding all this weird stuff that I apparently have not done before? Even though I have done this, I, I have the marker done. They're just respawning because it's been so long. God, guys, I've just spent absolutely ages getting all the- I only missed a couple. I missed, like, maybe, I want to say, like, six sign posts, boards, whatever they are. Um, I think it's posts. Um, out of all of these, that's not too bad. And there might be some around here that I missed because I, I couldn't find any reference to those. But I think I now have every signpost, too. J just for a little bit of completion, you know what I mean? If there's any I've missed, you can have a look at my map there. Give me a shout. But I think I've got everything there. Um, I'm going to continue now with the little quests i got to do. I'll probably get the signpost... <laughs> I'll probably get the signpost I missed in Skelliger. Although Skellig is much smaller, so I don't think I'll have missed many, if any. Um, and there, then we'll get back onto the, the main quests. But... There is another side quest you guys might not know of. Um, it is here, if you're wondering, right here, which I've already been here. I don't know. I don't know how I miss. I don't know how I'm missing this stuff, guys. It's insane. Help me, master. Yeah, we'll do. We'll do. Why are you crying? Me, me betrothed went to the woods to see to his snares. He didn't come back. Something must have happened. Heard him scream, but was afraid to go there myself. I'll see what happened. Sorry, can't help you. No, no, we'll help. I'll go to the woods, see if I can find him. Thank you. I've coin. I'll pay ye. Awesome. More money. Right. I mean, we've we haven't reached that far into 38, guys. I don't think we're gonna be wearing the Viper armor in Hearts of Stone. That's insane. How are you supposed to get to this level? I, I've done literally everything. Uh, maybe you get a lot Another of XP track. for the um, the Iris quest coming up, but then you can only use it at the end of the game, and that's assuming you did everything in the game. Maybe, maybe you're meant to do something else? I don't know. Like, if I miss something here, guys? Is there a, there must there should be a better XP mod or something. I don't know. Maybe it's meant for Tucson. Maybe they planned it for there. I'm just checking every, every area. Oh. Okay. Ow, 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 ow. Ah. Ow, you god damn it, where'd you even come from? Okay, hang on. Why am I having trouble with level 10s? When they run away, it's always harder. Like, no matter, even if, like, I'd rather fight a level 30. Okay, well, we got, we got all this stuff. There appears to be a guy here, but also traps and stuff. Won't have good news for the woman. Wild dogs killed her man. Yikes. Oh well. You know, I'm, I'm realizing, obviously I, I, I know this, but um, <laughs> more and more as, I, as I've been going through just exploring and dealing with little things, um, yeah, this world is awful in regards to living in it. Like, holy crap. I would not want to live here unless I was like a witcher and I had no family. But would you want that? I don't know. Depends. All right. You didn't find him? No, I did, but... Nay, don't say it. It's clear from your face. Please. Take this coin. 
Uh, fine. You know what, guys? We can't. We, not not in this situation. I, I don't think so. Can't accept this coin. I'm sorry I wasn't able to bring him back alive. Might I at least fetch his body? Wouldn't advise it. It's dangerous. If you decide to go anyway, it's near his snares. Thank you. Farewell. Oof. Oof, oof. You know, I'm not just a heartless witcher, guys. Look, I am... Um... I empathize it, it, with with people. <laughs> yes, yeah, very high. I'm human. Okay, right. I'll do the next one. I'll do the next one. Okay, guys, we're pretty much there. If you all know where this one is as well, it is by here. So if you want to go and want to go and do that, that'll be cool. It's near the quest where we where we did the pig thing. I think you know we found those people and they turn out to be pigs. I, I think it's literally that's the village I just signposted from. Okay. Oh, this reminds me of the book. Sword of Destiny. Saved him. So let me get these these ingredients. Whenever I see ghouls and stuff, I always think of dead bodies or you know already dead. Oh well, <laughs> there you go. <laughs> They'd have eaten me alive for certain. The corpses must have drawn them. Thank you for not leaving me there. Seems luck's with me at times after all. Luck. Guess things could be worse. You get infected recently? That why you haul corpses? What? No, it's my job. Well paid too. <laughs> Thing is, you're not a witcher or a mage, so you're not immune. I'm no foul mutant, thank the gods. But no worries, eh? It's just, well, no illness ever holds me. How'd the spill happen? Hmm, it pretty should burn the wagon, but... How did this happen? Axel snapped first. So, I poked me in underneath, see if I could fix it. Then out of the blue, a howl from the woods. My mare reared as if a wolf had already clinched her hind. The cat tipped and whoa, the cargo fell right on top of me. Your horse ran off. Aye, damn thing bolted. Ain't that my luck. If it don't rain, a wagon of stiffs pours on me head. Ought to burn your wagon. Yeah. Gonna need a new cart. Gotta burn this one soon. Can't I just bury the stiff somewhere near? Cart's still fit for fixing. Anyone learns you carried plague victims in it, no one will ever hire you again. Why would they need to learn? I won't tell if you don't. And you'll spread the pox for miles around. Oh, needs must, I suppose. Got anything to start a fire with? Ah, oh, little does he know. This is the power of Geralt. I'm not trying to attack him. Get out of the way. Like a bale of straw. Am I ever lucky I ran into ye? Thanks for your help and wise counsel. Here's some more. Go home, burn those clothes, and scrub yourself thoroughly. Yo, sure, sure, but I'll tell you true, no blight could touch me. Sure hope so. Farewell. Well, glad we did that Fuck one, guys. That yeah, I, I, yeah, I can imagine it does actually stink pretty bad. Um, right, well, that's another one down, guys. Another one down. Okay, guys, I am pretty much at where the next one is, and if you're wondering where it is yet again, it's here, just to give you, you know, in, in regards to where Oxenfur is, etc., it's there. And this is the last one of the Velen area, then I have a couple Skelliger ones, not too many, and then I'll be getting on with the quest, but, um, yeah, let's let's give this one a go. It's a caravan attack of some kind. Let's, let's try this out. I'm coming. Oh my god, Geralt, what the... Damn cheap guards! You get your coins worth, even less! Thank you, Witcher. Where would I be without you? Your guards run off. Louts didn't get the chance, thank the gods. It's them you cut down, waited until we passed the last settlement, then attacked. And to think, I made sure the scoundrels were well armed. We stood no chance against them. Oh, wow. Never trust a mercenary. What are you doing in Velen? Yeah, let's, let's hear what they're doing. Why'd you come all the way to Velen? Not many to sell to around here. Well, there's the Baron. Perhaps you've heard of him. Worth the journey just to sell to him? 
We'd never have set course for these gods forsaken lands if it wasn't. And we've not much competition. That's the upside. Thank you. Please, this was to be theirs at our destination. Now it's yours. Oh, wow, okay, what do they give me? Oh, I actually got a few not terrible experience for that. Oh, wow, 20 whole crowns, wow. All right, have you got anything else? I mean, you, you, you give me basically nothing. I'll take all their mugs and stuff, you know? That, that, that's, that's where we'll take our payment. Some grilled pork, amazing. Okay, well... That is every Velen little secondary quest done. I hope you guys have enjoyed those. They're quite fun. I'll do the Skellige ones, and then I'll head and do both of the final main quests, I guess. It's going to be quite fun. It's going to be maybe an extra long part today, guys. I know. Um, so, yeah, I'm just going to head there now, get that on the go, and I will see you all very, very soon. Have I seriously never been here? There's like a grotto in the middle of Skellige. Whoa, what? Someone placed an illusion here. What have I found? There's so many places in this game that just have like... Oh my god, what? What? I just completely missed all of this. This is... What? The in his eye. Ought to use it. There are people in here. There's wine, no one will come crashing in on us. There's people just like here. Like, what is going on? They're like relatively hard to kill. Okay. Elven ruins, elven ruins. Fucking bollocks, treasure, gold, magic. Fucking wild vipers. I gotta be careful, I guess. Boom, um, Sold me that map. Must have come here first and took all it. Uh, it uh, took it all the plan. Feath. We don't respect nothing. No thought for others. Just me, me, me all from the day. Bought more blasted gold in my pockets for spending coin than's here to be looted. At least this cave's warm and dry and summit fit for wintering. What? How have I discovered this? What has happened here? There is a lot of good stuff. Oh, hello. Oh, shit. Okay. I mean, I hope I haven't, like, started one of the little secondary quests I was gonna do. There's so much good stuff in here. What are they talking about? I just found two swords worth like a ridiculous. Oh, I have so much stuff, guys. I need to, I need to drop some stuff here. I think. I I found a bunch of my old like piles of stuff. I've just had to leave. What's he? What? what oh, there's nothing in here, huh? This is like one of the biggest. They're like really rewarding you for just going and looking at all these random things. Oh my god! Another sword. What? This is insane. I just found like one of the best treasure holes I think I've ever found, legitimately. Wow, and we got some oil. Amazing. Whoa. So much stuff in here. Oh my god. This is, this is unbelievable. This is unbelievable. I just found a saddle. How much are these worth? Oh, they're actually worth quite a bit. I'll drop some more swords, I think. Some... Well, uh, they seem to be apparently worth more than the freaking saddle. Guys, I gotta drop some of it. I gotta lose. There's something here. Need to use the... Well, I don't know what has happened here, guys. I've, I've discovered a... Yeah, I, uh, yeah, I don't think I even did an intro of this. I was just gonna, I'm basically, I'm collecting, I have like three signposts left for the entirety of Skellige. So I just came here to collect a couple of them and I, I happened to find this, which is just crazy. I think I'm going through it again. Okay, well, I'm gonna carry on getting these signposts and I'll, I'll go and do the actual quests that are here. 
What the hell? What the hell? Is that a white wolf I hear? Ow! What the what the fuck? I just found a werewolf in the middle of nowhere! Um Right, guys guys, I'm having some weird times in my 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 exploratory moment here. This is unbelievable. I, I need to do a proper intro, but to, to getting to Skelliger and exploring, but I just keep finding things while I'm just trying to clear things up. This is unbelievable. Um, what? Who is this guy? Okay. Okay, guys, I'm gonna pull you back in now. I've... <laughs> I'm having so much stuff happen, I've probably already pulled you in and out while I've been around Skelliger trying to get some some of the signposts. I actually only had two signposts in the entirety of Skelliger that I hadn't got, because there's supposed to be one here and one here, but they aren't there for some reason. This one isn't here, and this one I think I did get, but it was removed, I'm assuming, um, when we had the sort of final part of the game with the Enifer and stuff, because I can still- I actually went all the way there to try and rediscover it, because I know I'd done it in the past, and you just can't use it anymore. So what I'm going to do now is do the rest of the little secondary quests in Skelliger, then I have one more somewhere else, I'm not going to say where, and then I can get straight onto the quest. So there's a guy here apparently that wants to do a secondary quest, and we'll have a chat with him. Look at a satchel. Get him, lads. Aww. That worked. Okay. Amazing. So we're getting a little bit of XP off this. We're not getting much. We're about 500 of the way to um, 2,000, which is, you know, it's a quarter, so it's not terrible. Aha, aha. So this is where another... I mean, how do you find this, man? Like, what the hell? This is so random. Okay. So it should be in here, I think. Now oh, there he is. Someone help me. Hello. What's going on? Someone hit you? No, 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 no. Quiet. Or she'll hear. Who'll hear? My beloved. Beautiful as the morn and sweet as linen honey. Her grace, so delightful. <laughs> Don't seem all that delighted to me. Where is this beloved of yours? There in the depths, sleeping. But don't wake her by the gods. <laughs> Let's go, Waker. <laughs> this is a weird one. Oh, it sounds like a siren or... You know what, do I have any cat? Oh, a sweet heart. Fresh and scrumptious. Tell me a rhyme, then you'll get a prize. Or a beating. Yeah, uh, yeah we'll give it a go. <sighs> You're as lovely as... As what? As what? As rotten meat. And you're a monster. And I kill monsters. Oh, come on, Geralt. That's not cool. That was not what I wanted to do. Ow. Also, Geralt, what do you mean you're a monster and you kill monsters? Uh, this is not what... She has wings? What is going on there? What is that? <laughs> She has like a thing on her back. It's like a skeleton. Oh my god. Okay, yeah. Maybe Geralt took in his peripheral sort of vision a bit more than I did. Um, he saw all the skeletons and thought, hmm, yeah, okay. Yeah, you're a monster. He probably meant monster not in the monster sense, but in the, you know, in the being an awful creature sense. You know what I mean? Like you're a monster. Humans can be monsters. As Geralt says, killing monsters. Well, let's go return to this guy, or are we just gonna leave him? Huh. Bard ran off. Can't say I blame him. Wow. Okay. Right, let's get the uh, the next uh, quest done then. Okay, here it is. I'm coming, guys. Hello? Hmm? No Nordling will ever understand the Thank you, White One. You're not one of us, but you sure fight like an islander. How's it you came to Skellige? Long story. 
Got something to take care of here. As we all do. Me, for instance, I'm looking for my sister. What happened to her? Pirates took her. But I'll get them in me grip and squeeze. Regret their mothers ever bore them as they shit themselves. Following a trail, got any clues? Nowhere to go. Got any clues? These two here, before they pounced on me, said their captain had set sail for Hindersfjall. Carisu were on board his longboat. Ran into Carisu. I, I think I did this, didn't I? If your sister's Carisu, think I might have run into her on Hindersfjall at Freya's temple. How is she? Sound? Healthy? She's safe, healthy, at least in body. Priestesses took good care of her. I've got to go there. I've got to take her home. Here, take this, and you've me unending gratitude. Thanks, Witcher. Oh. It was that person at the temple? I think I remember that, you know? Oh, weird. Okay, right. Well, next one, guys. Maybe I should go to that temple. I'm... I'll... Hmm... This is Hindusfjall, no? Okay, guys, I'm pretty much where the next secondary quest is. I think I just have to explore here. It's like a little island, quite hidden. Journal. Five weeks have now passed since I was hired by that Prince Valgridovd, Valgridovd, I don't know, um, of a far-off land to help guide his family safely to Beauclair. Oh. At first, I merely suspected it, but now I'm certain our ship is being followed. We've chartered a course for shore. The captain wants to replenish supplies in a small village called Erston, and then sail up to the Pontar. The mass of the ship which sails after us are constantly visible on the horizon. The worst is upon us. We shall drown. The shore was within our reach when a horrible wind blew us back. The gale tossed our ship against the rocks. We're taking on water. The yard fell and crushed my legs. I don't know what will come to pass now. I have failed them, have failed the heirs of to the royal dynasty whom I was charged to escort safely to Beauclair. Uh, the sealed letters were in the chest which the sailor tossed overboard when the ship sank, when the ship began to sink even. If they ever wash ashore, if anyone ever finds them in this journal, know that they need to be given to a woman answering to the name Vicky. She does not know the local tongue, but if you read the words Viedog latrut ala mehor, she will know what to do. I hope she has arrived. She has survived. Luckily, she and the child set sail. Uh, she and the child sail in another ship. The other insisted we travel separately. He was right. I don't know who chases us. I only know that I shall soon die. Is this something I have to like finish in Tucson? Maybe not. Maybe because if they reach Tucson or not. Crushed legs, bled to death after they wrecked. Yikes. Find the sunken chest in the jail. It was under like a crashed ship or something, right? I'm going to assume it's here somewhere. This looks like where the ship crashed. Oh, there is something here. Strange crest. Not northern, not Nilfgaardian. Oh. It looks like there's like another part of the ship over here. I'm, I wonder if it... If I was just looking in the wrong area. Oh, this looks like it might be it. Hang on. Ah, uh, there we go. That that took me way too long to find. Okay. Boom. Sealed letter with imperm impermeable wax. Mien vie fi mod in led un adanen. Nidien vie body plantin er vid. Le within dinni wed perfel bledin mod di dilel unriv unsin duid fel arael me hen slande fi aid si cypress. Whatever the f. I have no idea, man. I, j I just said how I phonetically it might sound. Captain's log for the Am Amanuda. Day 69, uh, Eli, Eli Nud. Hatred has set in for the guide and the foreign royal family he was hired to escort. I should never have agreed to give them passage. They've meant endless trouble for the moment we put out of Val, and all indications are that plenty more awaits ahead. The foreign royal's bizarre behavior does nothing to help. The crew calls them barbarians behind their backs and mutters about the expedition being cursed. The guide... Um, said he had been hired to take them to Beauclair. Perhaps such strange customs will accord with those at Anna Henriette's court. But first, we must reach the continent safely. Yet ever since we lost sight of our sister ship, I've had a bad feeling about our chances of doing so. Day 73, Elinud. 
Um, a lie nerd or whatever, I don't know. I might have known there would be trouble when the guard explained these royals were fleeing a coup that knocked them off their throne on their home island. I hear the woman speak to the child in that strange tongue of theirs. She spits out words whose very sound is so filled with hatred and contempt, I need not guess at their exact meaning, for they are sure to be cur curses aimed at the usurper. She scans the horizon constantly, the dread plain in her face, no doubt fearing assassins that have been sent after her. Day 76, Elinud. My worries have been confirmed. Our passengers will be our doom. The ship will soon sink. May our gods and theirs watch over us. Righty then. I wonder what that area is called. I, I actually don't know <laughs> off the top of my head. I is it is it is there? A, I don't think it would be though. Surely not, because they sailed. Ophir? Maybe they're Ophiri, but it said an island. So I wouldn't think it would be Ophiri. Could be Ophiri. It could be one of the various Ophiri kingdoms. But I'm not sure. Oh, so I gotta go here now. Okay. Wow, Geralt. He Davy Jones, that one. Okay. Let's have a look. So I have to find out what happened to the second ship by going here? What? Here? Wait, what? Why is this so unbel. What? Okay, so there is another thing here, I guess. I mean, guys, I'm gonna have missed some. There's no way. You see, main rod, woman, and plated, from far, different talk, different cloth. Have I seen a foreign woman with a plated? Yeah, that foreign woman from distant parts. Um, yeah. Why'd you ask? Why are you looking for them? They. Bad. Run from punishment. Evil only. Ill fortune. They hear woman and plated. Hear evil and ill fortune. Uh, I haven't seen them. No, haven't seen anyone like that. I must find foreign woman with plated. I give gold. Okay, so this guy's one of the bounty hunters trying to find them. Maybe they were like dictators or something. Hmm, I don't necessarily believe him off the bat. So this is like a whole thing, you know? This this is what you miss out on, guys, if you, you, you don't go to tiny little islands in the middle of goddamn nowhere. You know, that that's what you miss out on. Um, well, it doesn't look like it's this one either. Oh, no, 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 I see a red thing. God damn it, go up. Okay. Oh. Tracks are old and faded. A woman and child dragging their feet. This must be the second ship, surely. Okay, okay, okay. I mean, this is what happened to the second ship, right? I'm not, like, missing something here. Oh, well, if I do, I do. I'm gonna make a... Because there's someone there. You know, I'm gonna... Uh, surely this is what it wants me to do. Is that... Do I have to, like, talk to someone or something? Okay. Awake, Eford, of <sighs> Fuck! Ah. The same crest is on the sunken ship. Tracks are old and faded. A woman and child dragging their feet. Okay, so here she is. Ah. Awake, Eford of Fanyin! What? Hello? Okay, we'll just, we'll just follow her, guys. This is this is fine. Hey, look, there's a guy there. Awake, Eford! What are you doing here? I seek them. Woman, criminal. Child, not hers. She took. Why should I believe you? Man, Gorved! Gorved! No, believe her. Criminal. Must to die. I take plate in home. 
What, yeah, what did they what did they do? What did the woman do? Why do you want to take the child? Matter for King. Dergalek. You not know. Uh well that's not giving me much to work on here. Uh I mean I I mean I guess I won't I won't let him hurt them, I don't know. You can't hurt the woman or take the child. I won't let you. Felly, Gadail it o fault. You die! The Eilish Ifichi. This from me? Fiendic Effi, Eilic Chi. What? Do I not get to like talk to her or anything? I thought you get to talk to her. Was that a while ago? Calm down. I want to talk. Rorian Kesu Ii. Hepafi. Okay, okay guys, so I just went back on a save because I, I, I remembered in the past when I did this, you can actually talk to her. And I think it's because I didn't talk to the guy the other time. I think if you talk to the guy, he basically just follows you and you can't even have a conversation. So I just want to hear, I just want to have a chat. I want to be able to have this chat. Sorry, can't understand a thing. Want me to take you away? Is that it? Sorry, but I don't know what you need. Should I give her the captain's diary or say recognize this letter? Your language reminds me of the language I saw in documents from a ship. Recognize this. Understand? Recognize this letter? Take a look at this. Recognize it? Why, Finn? Keep it. Not like I have any use for it. This from me? Fiendic Effi. Delic Chi. Uh, yeah, whatever I, yeah. Thanks, but I don't need this. Enough. Good luck. Yeah, that, that, that's a weird quest. Yeah, I, I, I went back because I, I realized that... I, th I think it's because I talked to the guy. I don't think I've ever... Oh, what? Oh, come on. There was a chest I just saw. What? This whole area is so glitchy, man. <laughs> I don't know. It just feels weird. You know what I mean? Okay. Right, well, we, uh, we did that, I guess. I mean, I don't even know what that was. There was nothing in those chests. That was a strange secondary quest. I mean, it was cool. I wonder if they, you can find them in Tucson or not. I can't even remember. I'm assuming that's where they're headed. Okay. Right. On to the, on to the next one. Uh, what the hell just happened? Okay. Samel looks abandoned. Right. Okay. This is the next one. <laughs> oh my god, guys. This is insane. Right. There's one here. So I'm going to try and get this done. I have to find... Human bones. Guess they're all that's left of the lumberjacks. Okay, we found one thing. That sound like a lesion. Honestly, fire is just the best tactic against lesions. I mean, I could just... Hang on, I, I want to find out what happened here. Can I still look at everything else? 
go. There were the things. Ah. That's from Druid. You have gone mad if you think that these attacks and accidents are are doing. Not a single Druid has taken action against you, and none of us wish you harm. Our calling is to care for nature, but not at the price of human lives. In fact, man is also part of nature, and we are not allowed to do him any deliberate harm. Know, however, that nature is ruled by her own laws, and if she has let you know you are not welcome here, it would be wise to consider a halt to your woodcutting for your good and for the good of the forest. Okay. So is that like two things? Is there more? Okay. Oh, it gave me like no time to look at anything. Ah, okay. Sawmill owner's notes: The druids are on a war on the warpath, move from the wood, the words to deeds. Every morn we come to the mill to find our equipment damaged, destroyed. Last night, someone tossed an axe into. The Vil's door, focus scared, I'll talk to the druids one last time, this must end. Okay. Right, and oh, this will be the last thing. Lumberjack's letter to his wife. Don't know how long I'll stay here. Till now the work was tough, sure, but we earned a decent living. Lately, though, I fear for my life. Something haunts the place at night. It roars and wails. We can't stand it no more. And the wolves, they're always howling. Yesterday, Seamund went to the privy during the night and never returned. Don't find nobody, didn't find nobody nor, nor tracks. Who knows, maybe he ran off. I'd rather that than something worse to have happened. Truth be told, I think about leaving here more and more lately, about going back to you and the young one. I'm no fool, maybe I could learn another trade and we'd get by somehow. And some crowns. Okay, well, we, we've now looked at everything I think that we would have looked at just, just based on the quest. But for some reason, the lesson just appeared immediately. I guess I went to the wrong thing to look at. A lot, a lot of these like little secondary quests, I notice, have a few things that are like strange in them you know what i mean like they're not quite as i don't want to say it was refined but there's definitely like an element of like huh with a lot of them you know what i mean so where's this next one i gotta do i think the next one is up here so i'll just head straight there now it's on this little little sort of i don't want to say is a peninsula like a small island off an island so it's not really a peninsula but this small this small bit it's nice having a, a quest in a different area. It tells you where the nearest marker is. Just you don't even have to like look at the map and work it out. Okay, so I'm just gonna head straight there, I suppose, guys. I am. Um, this is good. I'm happy I'm getting all this done, though. I'm sure. I mean, it feels like all the the other exclamation marks that I've discovered not on this map that I have um, that like tells me where they are seem to have just appeared because it's part of a quest. I'm sort of on like that that soldier. I mean, the other one I guess wasn't, but. I don't know, it, it, it was, it was, it, I don't know, I don't know, it was, it was kind of nothing really happened. I mean, I, it would have been annoying if I'd never done the, um, the one with the, the people from a foreign land type thing that had appeared and stuff, and you go from Skellige to Novigrad and stuff. It, I guess you can't do too many, but I always think it's cool when they do these cross-zone quests, I think that's very fun. Okay, so there's something going on here, there's a man with some harpies, he's tied to a rock, I'm assuming he's getting punished for something. Oh yeah, why don't I just do the best tactic ever? Okay! What is going on here? Hello? Free me, I beg of ye! Why'd they chain you here? I didn't like old Gretor. Uh, no, but, but I didn't want his death. Free me, please. I was framed for murder. I don't know if I want to free this guy, you know? I mean, we got no reason not to believe him. We'll free him. We'll hear some more stuff. Why not? Hmm. Guess I believe you. Thanks. I won't forget this. I've no way to pay you, but... If we ever meet again, I'll get you back for what you've done. Can you walk? Don't fret about me. I just need to rest a spell. Then I'll be fine. Thank you for your help. Okay. Never mind me. 
Well, I think there's a part two to that quest. I'll try and, um, I'll, I'll do it now, I suppose. Maybe I have to wait a couple days or something. I'm not sure. I mean, that was interesting. Um, oh god, this is an awkward one to get back to, isn't it? Okay, so I think part two of this quest is up here somewhere. Uh, I'm just sort of eyeing this. Ah! Okay, so there is an exclamation mark here now. I was confused. I was looking around. I was like, I can't find this. Tell the Jarl. He's in charge. Yeah, yeah. Hmm. Okay, okay, okay. It's here. It's here. Ah, shame about Peter. He was a good man. Aye, and he didn't drink much. As for that poor son, Jarl, chaining him to the rocks. That was too late a punishment. Should have lashed his skin off. Don't say that. My brother was good. Quiet, dear. You don't know what you're saying. Your brother was a vile man, a criminal. The quicker you forget him, the better. Hmm. What happened here? My brother? They chained him to the rocks? Because of me? Because of you? Why because of you? Because... Because... I didn't like my uncle Gretter. He was fat and stank. Once... I told my brother that uncle... did bad things to me. York flew in a rage and killed him. Then they caught him and tied him to the rocks. That's how your laws work. A murderer has to be punished, even if he killed to save someone else. But... But... I lied to Jorg. Uncle did nothing to me. He stank and I didn't like him. That's it. And now... Now Jorg will die because of me. Christ, on a... What? Oh... Wow, I did not think this game would like explain like 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 show children lying and stuff. That's insane. I think she, I think she has learned a lesson to be honest, Geralt. We did free him. I'll tell her we freed him because we did and I hope she just learns a lesson from this. Your brother will be fine. I freed him. He's bound to come and find you soon. Truly? Oh, thank you. Thank you. I'll never tell another lie. I swear it. You got a man killed. Take me with you. Fuck off. No fucking way, man. I'd rather, I'd rather... Oh, I don't even know. I'd, I'd rather take frickin' Alvin. God, that's a throwback. No. <laughs> that's, a, that's a big throwback. Um, God damn Alvin. Right, okay. Christ. Oh, God, guys, are these secondary missions, <laughs> they're testing the limits of my, um, my, my, my co copings. Makes me sound like such a. Oh, dude, this is insane. This is insane. What, I, what I've had to do today. I've had some crazy things happen. Ah, oh, okay. Ro Roach, just, just please come here. Please come here. Just, just please come here. Okay. I probably should have said learn your lesson, but I did free him. I don't want to lie. I have to try and tell people I freed him. That'd be annoying. Yeah, we, we have it in with all the Jarls, you know. Uh, we'll, we'll kill them like we did that Lugos guy. Yeah, we'll get Ermion on. The white-haired one. Who is he, I wonder? A warrior. Plain to see. Just what we need. Come over here, traveler. What do you need? You aim to enter the crypts. Maybe. Why are you here? Came here to cut nails. Nails? Of corpses. Don't you know? Wraiths use nails to build their cursed longship. So you're hoping you can make them run short of materials? We would if we could get in the crypts. But there's ghosts inside. Would you tend to them? Sure, sure. So you can collect the nails. You go ahead. Fine. I'll see what I can do about the ghosts. But you got to pay me, okay? What's my XP on? It's on 530. I've done so many of these things, guys. You get, like, nothing because they're so low level. I guess it's fine. 
Okay, in the crypt we are. Let's pull out the sword and have a look around. So there's some skeletons. I'll take their money. They, you know, well, it's a deal. I'll take the money. They can have the nails, you know? I mean, I'd like to have the nails, obviously, guys. I mean, you know me. Me and nails. Hand in hand. Literally. But I, I would rather have the money in this particular instance. But, you know, one day. You know, they, they, they bagsy the nails. <laughs> it sounds so weird. <laughs> okay. <laughs> um... This is very Witcher 1, isn't it? Remember the- Oh, very Witcher 1. There's even a wraith. Oh, that's one. Take everything that's not nailed down. That's the strategy. Grab those mushrooms. Ooh, what is this? Dun dun dun. Ah, uh, oh, uh, no, don't do that. Yeah, I can't be bothered to put down a sign. Ah, oh, maybe I can. Might make it a little bit easier. Well, he's gone. Right, okay. I'm just gonna kill them. I, I don't wanna mess around with the... There's apparently something here. Right. Well, I'm glad I'm doing all this. Oh, sweet. Why do they, why do they put black magic dolls on, on the on the bodies of their dead? It feels strange. Okay. I'm getting a lot of good stuff here, guys. This is good. think this is the way we came down yeah okay right let's see what else we've got here we've got a bunch of stuff there's a lot of barrels somehow I missed all of this no idea how but we got it now that's good what did I not just loot all this look at all this material guys oh no no I, I must have just run past all that is there something up here no okay let's carry on I hope that red marker is not gonna screw me Pearls. Aha. Uh -huh. Whoa, what is that? It's a night ray. Come here. I will wait. I don't know what they're doing, man. I'm just gonna. So annoying. You actually need to use this. I haven't fought many night wraiths, have I? They're not used that much in the game, I feel. We did it! But night wraiths are a little bit more annoying. You have to act you literally have to use it. Oh. I am the ultimate secret finder, guys. Oh well. I saw a, I saw a rock growing yellow growing? Glowing yellow. It's pretty obvious, I feel. Oh, does he there's more? Ooh. Oh, is this like a way out? I'll, I'll go this way after I've explored a little bit more. I wanna, I wanna get all the loot. Oh, see, see, could have missed these these random flowers just growing here. Guys, I, I'm getting annoyed. I'm getting annoyed. I'm, I'm getting triggered. Yeah, I'm leaving that other one. I don't need it. Look, I'll get it on the way back round. I gotta get, it. I gotta get everything. See, I would have missed all of this. And look at this guy. He has—he had a freaking expensive sword in him. That's 400 crowns. How do I afford everything in the game? As we say, we take everything that isn't nailed down, guys. You know, I got my room right stuff. I haven't even used it. I don't need to use it. I just need to have unlocked it. That's it. I really should use it, you know. <laughs> I really should. God, this has been like a long old little venture getting all this stuff, you know. I'm going to have to cut so much of this to be able to fit in these two quests. Or it's going to be like 10 hours long. How long are they? They're not that long. They're not that long, are they? I don't think so. Whoa, okay. Uh, okay, I don't think there's anything else here. Anything secret? Anything safe? Oh. 
that they just get to a point where you're like, you know what, maybe I don't need all the mushrooms. I'd rather buy them. Okay, well, I think I've made my way out. I, honestly, it feels like it was just as long as just walking back through. I mean, I'm now on the other side of a freaking mountain, so it's it's actually harder um, to get back. I'm going to try and park all my way up. See, look at that. You see that? He, will it even climb up? It's the way of the Geralt. No. Oh, come on. I can totally do that. Okay, this this is this is triggering me. Okay. Ah, uh, see? Life finds a way, guys. That's what I'm saying. Help me. Uh-huh. Yeah, I don't know what the point in going that whole way was. I'm going to make a save before I decide to plummet to my death. Uh, uh, okay, okay, everything's fine. Drink a potion, everything's cool. Hello. Greetings to you. And to you. It's, I did it, I did it. Took care of the ghosts. Crypt is safe. Thank you for your help, white-haired one. We'll make a sacrifice to Freya in your name. Yay! Can it be a human uh, uh, thing? Yes. I don't want to. I don't want to say certain things. I don't know what what the rules are on them. Okay, we did that. Incredible. How many more do I have? I have like like two. Okay, I have to do like an armed assault. I have absolutely no idea where it is, guys. I'm gonna be completely honest here. Oh, I'm from Skilliga. I talk a bit like I'm Irish, but also a little bit like I'm Scottish. And it kind of goes a little bit like I'm from Skilliga. -y. I'm from Skilliga. -y. Okay, what am I doing? Okay, I have made it to the Whoa. place where apparently this other marker is. It's uh, 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 not marker, not marker. Shut up. Where, where the, the the second request guys are all second. These are actually not markers. They're not just like ch treasure chests. They're actual quests. I have arrived, brave Sir Geralt. Shut up. I feel like bravery requires an element of um. Hey, Lugos, he's dead, right? Arnor. I Ingvar, Ingvar, son of Umar, has cheated us. I'm dead certain. Tricked us all, the horse, and me and you lot both. All this hating on me and you've been doing is pointless. I saw a hundred times that we'd split the booty from this raid as we've split the others evenly, and I meant it. Thing is, two chests of jewels, a silver dagger, and some go- Okay, I'm, I'm losing, I'm losing the voice. It's hard when you're trying to read- <laughs> Thing is, two chests of jewels, a silver dagger, and some gold cups, plates have gone missing. I summoned all from the clan who were on the raid, and all swore on the blood of their fathers and their fathers before them, that they had not have taken more than their share. That leaves Ingvar. I might have known better than to take an on-crate aboard, if I, it were my error, but one we can't correct. One you can't correct. <laughs> this is hard. Take a handful of my men and go find him. Then take from him what's ours. You have me blessing. Lugos, the one they the one they call Madman. Okay, right, amazing. Okay, that was my best Skelliger impression, guys. Hire me. Um kinda messed up halfway through. Honestly, I've never done a Skelliger impression before. Literally you might be surprised. <laughs> never. <laughs> I know, it's so incredible. Oh, you see that? You see that? There's loot in there, guys. Let's go. You can come out. They're dead. Let me in. Who are they? Bandits. Matman Lugos' man. And who are you, my good man? I was the one that killed Madman Lugos. I don't care, he's dead. What's he gonna do? Geralt of Rivia. I'm a witcher. Thanks for your aid. If you'd not come by, we'd have been done for. Lugos will wonder what happened to his men. What'll you do? Don't worry about us. Send my boy off to Kerr Trolda, hasty like. The Earl's not like to let Lugos off. You'd best watch your own back. Lugos finds out, he'll try to get even. Think I'll manage. Good luck. Yeah, I don't think Lugos is gonna find out. Go with the same voice actor as Ermin. So it's not happening. I'm taking all your stuff. You're abandoning it anyway, right? Pretty sure. He's like, ah, I'm leaving. Honestly, man, you don't need to. Lugos is gone. You, you, you'll, you'll be fine. I don't think anyone cares anymore. 
The sun's also gone too. Um. Oh no, he's not. He's just like, yeah, you go so ahead and take it. Bad Shut up! I do not have bad vapors, good sir. Okay, guys, I'm pretty much there. Um, apparently, there's a bunch of wolves. I'm just gonna go past them. I think it's this burning pillar of rock. Ah, yes. Nice. It just it sounds like one. Right, I'll show you on the map yet again in case you want to know where it is. It's here. Um, there you go. Right. Hello. What happened? What happened, damn it? Is that I fell and cracked me damn leg in two? Stop whining, Peter. I'm ashamed to hear it. Pull yourself together, man. Worst case, Henrik will whittle you a wooden leg. Old Ola's got one, and you don't hear him complaining. Old Ola's also got lice, stinks, and leaks out of both ends. Yet he don't complain about that either. You two gonna help or no? I mean, he, the, this guy also sounds exactly like it. I mean, okay, the other guy, the guy next to me, on the left of me, the, mi the middle of us. Right, how'd you fall? How'd you fall? We set out to light a fire there, atop of the statue's shoulders, for our own glory and that of our ancestors. Looks like you succeeded. Hey, but the fire won't big so quick, Peter jumped back, lost his balance. Got lucky anyway. Could have broken his neck falling from that height. Um, statue, what's it all about? This statue, what is it? An altar to the god of warriors. Any man who dares climb it and light the fire gains the favor of the gods. Fame and... And an excellent chance of snapping his leg off at the arse. Are you going to help me, or are you going to continue preaching? Um, are we going to give him some swallow? This celandine should help you. Won't mend your leg, but it will make it hurt less. Thanks. Our undying gratitude, that gets you. The gratitude of a dying man in my case. Enjoy it while it lasts. Shut it and show me that leg. Thanks again. God's guide ye. Celandine or Celandine? I always thought it was, it was Celandine, at least from The Witcher 1. Okay, well, that's another little mission done, guys. We have currently got... Oh. We have one left, guys. And it's not in Skellige, so I'll show you where, where it is when I get there. Okay, guys, we are pretty much there. Oh, God, this is... It's been a long journey. But there is one little marker in, um... Um, it's Care Morn, guys. One little marker finally left in Care Morn. One little secondary quest that I missed. I guess I never went up this path. Um, and I just thought I'd do it. It's a very strange one, though, when I was checking this out the other day. I, I didn't actually do it. I literally got here and was like, what? And then I just noted that I hadn't done it. I just had to come and do it. Naturally cold. Okay. Ooh. There's something here. Need to use the eye. Can I look at this first? That smell. Some herb grew here. Oh, I wonder what. A rust-eaten sickle. Delicious. Dried needles. Juniper or thuja. Seeds. Wolfsbane, I think. Medallion's jumping. Boulder must be saturated with magic. I'll check out that in a second. Okay, I looked at everything before I look at that, just in case. Okay. Ooh. Letter from the resident mage. Notes. Language is a bit archaic, but still intelligible. Le I can see on my mini-map that there's a cave or something. Okay, Lesbeth, I am very flattered by your interest in my humble greenhouse and naturally will describe to you how it works. Believe me, I have nothing better to do here. The witches, being witches, are tight-lipped and even when they do finally say something, it's rarely, any it's rarely anything very interesting. But enough of my complaints, let's return to the greenhouse. Greenhouse is of course merely a term of convenience, for this construction does not require any structure that could be called a house. It consists of three monoliths made of magic absorbent stone. Basalt is best or Paul, Paul Fee? Paul, Paul Fury? Paul Fury? Paul, Paul Fury. Paul Fiery. I don't know, something like that. 
but granite will do in a pinch. The monoliths must be arranged in a triangle, then charged with energy from the elements of fire and water. Since the triangle has three vertices, um, there is no way to lay out the powers symmetrically. Symmetrically. Symmetrically? Yeah. And that is precisely the point. The unstable arrangement will strive towards equilibrium according to the principle of the conservation of magic energy. Heat is the side effect of this process, and so, as they say in Beauclair, voila! Within the triangle, conditions become like those of a greenhouse, favorable to cultivation of exotic plants. Two last remarks. First, charging all three monoliths with the same element will accomplish nothing. The arrangement will be stable and there will be no flow of energy. Second, the arrangement will naturally lose its charge over time and thus must be checked upon regularly, especially bearing in mind that once equilibrium is achieved, the temperature will fall and heavy precipitation will result following the ancient principal quad, magica facet natura laxit. Um, that will have to do for now. Your Hieronymus. Your Hieronymus. Oh, God. Your Hieronymus, yeah. P.S. Perhaps by way of thanks you could come visit me. True, the witches have made me swear on all that is holy, not to reveal where Kermorn lies. But you, my dear Lesbeth, can be trusted. Mm-hmm. Gotta hit two stones with Igni and one with Ard. Piece of cake. Interesting. We'll do this with Igni. Oh, these look like places of power. Igni. Igni. Someone's clearly unhappy with Ooh, the change in the uh, There's a chort, okay. Oh. Okay. No, just prove something to you guys really, because you might think, why is he finding look, it is on Death March, alright? It is. <laughs> just there you go. Just just to prove it. Alright. Gotta I remember, you know, I'll, I'll say it in a minute. It's gotten warm. Very warm. Even exotic herbs could grow in this temperature. Hmm. I guess that was the plan. A few days, huh? Ow. Okay, well, uh, I'll just... I'll wait a few days. I'll say while I wait a few days. Yeah, uh, there was a comment on one of my first Witcher parts where I went into the menu to change the audio. I'm sure you guys know I have many issues with audio, and someone thought I changed it off Death March or something. And it's like, well, there's no point in doing that, really. Like, like you know what I mean? Like, I don't know. It's because I didn't show the the process. I literally just showed me opening the menu, I suppose. I can understand it, but I feel like people always expect the worst, don't they? There's no reason to not do it on death march. Like, I, I don't know. Uh, like, there's, there's, uh, you, you lose out on achievements. I can even show you the achievement, actually, that I completed the entire playthrough on death march. So that's without switching the difficulty. Um, I don't know what a few days. I'm assuming it's three or something, but I'll just wait a bit more. Um, I can show the achievement, because I've never completed the Witcher 3 Game of the Year edition on Death March. I've done the Witcher 3 normal edition with all the expansions, but I, I bought the Game of the Year edition specifically for the playthrough. Oh, well, I bought it slightly before, but I, um, I wanted to be able to have a fresh full thing. Like, all the time I've spent on this game has been to do with the channel, on the Game of the Year edition specifically, not the base edition. Just got time on that too, obviously. That's how it works on GOG or GOG. Uh, hey. Got ourselves a botanical garden. Oh, hey, we did it, Geralt. Genertia, Croza. Oh, there's just a lot of different types of herbs. Oh, there's a lot. Oh, let's, this is the loot from the quest, I guess. Just every herb under the sun. Under the great sun, I might add. That was a cool little quest. I'm just going to loot all these herbs. Amazing. Well, I guess I've, um... You know, I've done all the, the secondary quests that are hidden. Hidden secondary quests, guys. There's some... Some cool, cool little things you guys can do if you haven't done it at home. Um, or you watching, if you want to give it a go. I think this has been a fun little thing to do. But I guess we're going to get into the uh, the main part of today's part, which is weird. I've, I, do you want to tell how long I've been recording for, guys? Just just to give you an idea, because I've, I've had to cut a lot of this out. I've been recording for four hours. And I'm going to have to cut a lot of this for you guys, like a lot of it. But um, I'm sure it'll go down to maybe an hour, maybe less. I don't know. There's like not really much... To show because I've had to like 
travel everywhere, get all the signposts, work out where it all is and stuff. And it just happens, you know? So what I'm actually going to do, because I know you might be thinking, oh, you're going to do two main quests and be absolutely knackered. No, I'm not going to do that, guys. What I'm going to do now is I'm actually going to take a little break. And then I will come back with you guys in the, the main quest. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go do some stuff for a little bit, but then I'll be right back. And we are back. So it has been a, a little bit of time for me. It's been a couple hours, guys. I thought I'd wait until it was uh, a little bit later at night. I thought it might fit with the uh, the whole atmosphere of the end part of this DLC, or I guess expansion a bit more. Um, I'll actually tell you guys, it's about um, it's about 12 a.m. for me right now. So I'm really in the mood to do something a bit creepy. It's gonna be gonna be atmospheric for sure. I'm looking forward to it, guys. Oh, we're getting to the end of the expansion, guys. We're getting to the end. It's it's. It's it's weird. That's that's all I'll say. It's it's strange. It's strange to be getting to the end of it. I'm gonna be honest. We have two missions, I think. Oh, te technically three. Technically three, actually, because we have this mission, then an optional one, which I'm obviously gonna do, then the final one. So we're gonna we're just gonna do it. We're just gonna do it right now. I'm very very excited. These are some of the well, some of my favorite missions Kendrick. for sure. Kendrick. Oh, I think someone wanted me to turn off the music for this because it's more creepy or something, but I, I kind of like it, you know? Like, I like... Li listen to it. Oh, there it is. Hey! You hear me? Just a Mighty minute. rusty and covered in creepers need another way in. Anyone there? Anaris is supposed to be here, huh? Kendrick. Kendrick. You there? Not so loud. Ah! Oh, God, scared me off to... Not so loud, I said. Fog's not natural. Could be something in there hiding. Foglets or air nymphs, for example. Don't want to attract them. Believe me. F foglets Oh, sweet mother my little why did I ever come here? Yeah, good qu I was literally, in my head, I thought, good question. So I feel almost like I want to say it. But maybe I should say, who's Kendrick? Ah, uh, I think maybe I get to ask both if I ask this first. Uh, I, I feel like I should say what I thought. You know what? No, it's fine. Oh, this is such a good mission, guys. I've actually set the game time to um, sort of evening, just as it's getting into evening, so it's going to slowly turn to night as the, the mission goes on. So, uh, yeah, who's Kendrick? Kendrick fellow. Who is he? I... We partners. Sneak into derelict houses. Always something valuable lying about. Hmm. <laughs> So you're a thief. Thieves steal from the living. W what's the arm taken from the dead? Kendrick went to open a door. I stood watch. Suddenly heard his lamp smash. Then nothing. Quiet. Called out to him, but... What? What, what was that? One of them foglets you spoke of? No. Phew. That's the stone off my... I'll see what that was and look for your partner. You... I ain't about to wait around. I'm out of here. Pretty sprawling, this estate. It is. Have, have we not been here? We went to, we went to a, a crypt, no? Where's the crypt? Is the crypt not here? It might be somewhere else. It might be, like, further down or something. I thought it was. Okay. Right, I'm just gonna make a make a quick save, just so How you know. I'm gonna find that rose in this fog. Well, we'll have a look. The first thing we're gonna do is search the grounds of the estate, see what's going on. I suppose. Fresh manure. Hmm. Well, someone's wanna... still tending to the flower beds. No violet rose, though. Uh huh. Yeah, a lot of flowers. What's this? A grave here. Lots of graves. This place is very creepy for sure. It's, it's very cool though. I like it. I'm hoping it won't be too dark when it gets late, but we'll see. Woods rotted completely. I want to see it without the yellow outline. I mean, it doesn't look too bad, Geralt. I don't know what you're saying. It looks fine to me. You could you could paint on that. Can I art it? Oh, I'm gonna make a save. I don't. Wanna... <laughs> right, completely. What are you talking about, Geralt? It's fine. 
Ooh, what is this? Don't tell all good. <laughs> we'll give it back to him, guys, I promise. Right. Well, I want to I wanna look at everything before I go and see what, what that mysterious figure was, guys. Someone said they hate that I pretend I don't know what is going to happen, but I love it, okay? It's RP. Beehives. Well maintained, but dormant. Hmm. It's almost like there's someone taking care of the uh, the area, guys, you know? I could say they might even be a, some sort of job or some. Oh! <gasps> there's a thing there! There's a little doggy. Hello, little doggy. What are you doing in a place like this? Best shoe before you get hurt. Hello? Okay. A grave? Here? Oh, more, more graves, more graves. Rather worn. Used often. Wonder by who? A bench. The bench was used often. That's that's interesting, huh? Water's ice cold. Mountain of violet rose cold. here. Maybe somewhere out back. Water's out cold. Mountain stream cold? I guess that would be pretty cold up that high. So it's particularly cold in this area, too. I'm gonna guess the door's locked. Ooh. A busted lamp. And the ground's trampled. Somebody dragged something this way. A body? We will have a look in a moment. I just want to explore around the other side a little bit, just in case there's anything. You never know, guys. Ah, see, there is something. Rope looks new. Bucket's been repaired. Huh. Can I see anything through here? No. Okay. See, there is some Gardner's stuff back hut. here. Could it be? Ah, yeah. You think there might be some sort of gardener or person that takes Those care? Those are so organized, it's scary. Sort of things. Yeah, I mean, he keeps a tight ship, Geralt. You know. Do I see a whistling? Okay, guys, I'm starting to hear things. Hmm. Right. Well, I think that's about everything. There might be a couple things I miss, but to be honest, I don't really care. I've kind of explored a lot. I feel. Right, let's carry on. Someone dragged a wounded man through here. Yes, we. this has been established. I'm going to stay in fisheye mode just to see. Yeah, we got we got everything, I think. Ah. Pants from cleated boots, leading from the back of the garden. So we've got some booties, printies, tees. See, I feel like I haven't checked around this Somebody's little bit. still taking care of the place. Yeah, just all the, all the barrels and stuff and containers. I mean, sort of, sort of, Geralt. Uh, let's be honest. It, it doesn't look amazing, but it, it doesn't look awful. There's lots of bags around. Oh, a gate, I see. God, this is... I don't know about this glow. I might need to try and lessen that. That feels so, like, empa empowering, overpowering. Okay. I'd scooch along, kitty. This place. What's that? That. Digging. So we've met a cat and a dog, and I, I hear some digging. A lockpick? Must have been the other thieves. There's a red thing. <laughs> yeah, it's a red thing. And more boot prints. I'm making saves, guys. Not not uh, just because I want to be able to come back to these save points in the future for fun. <laughs> that's literally the reason. If you wonder why I save so much, that's that's a big part of it. Ooh, there's a door. Can I sneak on in? No. Well, fine. Let's see how it is. There's just like patches of blood like spewing around. Some thick. Oh, there's a guy moving. Okay, we'll we'll head over there in a moment. I don't think there's anything around here, is there? Okay, right. Let's go and see this this guy. I mean, we'll explore these little gardeny bits. I mean, it is a nice house you got all get. I mean, it's pretty creepy, but 
you know, if you remove the creepy part, it's it's a cool house. I like it. Hmm. You know what I'm actually going to do, guys? I'm going to do something that's going to shock everyone. Because, you know, I'm always so unprepared for pretty much everything in this entire game. But, oh my god, I know. A bunch of people just got very excited that I did that. Okay. Graves, unmarked, laid out in rows like garden beds. Hey, hear me? thief. Bodies mutilated. Who are you? Damn. What the actual... Okay. Which time? Oh my god. I'm a god. Uh, um, avoiding. Relic toil. Oh my god. It's been a while since I've, I've done this fight, you know. It's been a long while. Last time would have been like whenever I did the caretaker uh, video. It's interesting. Okay, something's happening. There's, there's a lot happening right now. Oh, what, what are these things? Oh, does he heals off them now if they get to him? Did I get him? I want to see what you got. God, this is this is a hard fight, you know? Hey, oh, he healed, he healed! What how many is he spawning? Oh my god, this is actually a hard fight. I forgot about this, you know. Oh, roll, roll. Fuck you. <laughs> you see that? <laughs> Can I set him on fire? I have not tried setting him on fire. Honestly, it's worth taking the hit, I think, just to get that much damage in. I've run out of oil, but you know what? I don't need more. I'm going to RP this. I couldn't realistically take oil mid-fight, I feel. I think, I think my... Oh. I think my Quen shield is actually, like, legitimately... Oh like brick killing them. Like when it breaks, I'm near them. Okay, there's one more. Oh, did he actually get help on that? I feel like that's not very fair, I'm gonna be on this game. Oh, that was bad. He just restored a lot of health. I, I couldn't get to them. He was hitting me out of the way while he was restoring it. Did he just get more? I can't see any of these things. They're, they're so hard to like actually see. This is this is this is hard. Oh. Okay, get damage. Get loads of damage. He's restored so much health. Keep going, keep going, keep going. Get him down, get him down, get him down, get him down, get him down. Get him down. Okay. I think he might have legitimately used all the things he could. I did kill a lot of them. Okay.
Did I get him? What? Right. What the was that? Look at him. What the fuck was that? No eyes or nostrils, deformed organs. Damn thing had no right to be alive. Well, philosophers do still debate what it means to be alive, exactly. Normally I'd be shocked, but not after what I just saw. Who are you two? Clearly not animals. Think of us as friends of the house. Um, I love, I love Geralt's reaction. <laughs> you two are a little mysterious. The creature, what was it? Looking for a violet rose. We'll ask that. We'll ask these first. God, that that was, that was. It wasn't too bad, you know. I I wouldn't say it was that hard, but it definitely had some interesting elements, you know. Right, you two are a little mysterious. What's with the show? The pretense that you're animals. You couldn't have warned me. No, we're obliged to maintain discretion. So why talk to me at all? Why? Well, we get so few chances to talk to humans, and we're curious to know what brought you. Gonna need a better answer than that. Later. Hmm, because I met the dog, didn't I, in the, um, in the courtyard before, and then I met the cat later on. Okay, the creature, what was it? What about this thing? What can you tell me? Friend of yours? We called him the caretaker. Doesn't look like any creature I've ever seen. Where'd it come from? From very far away. He was summoned to guard Lady Iris in the home. He tended the garden, took care of unwanted guests. Very far away? Meaning where exactly? The name of this place would mean naught to you. Would be nice to know the name, but fair enough. Um, okay. I mean, I wonder if they know even now that Olga had sent me. I always wonder that, or if they're just kind of like, he killed the caretaker, this guy must have something going on. Okay, I'm looking for a Violet Rose. You know the master of the house, the owner? Olga von Everick. Yes, we know him, but he left, and his wife became mistress of the house. Great. So, Lady von Everick home? Could you announce me, say she has a guest? Why do you wish to see her? I'm here to get the Violet Rose Old Geard gave Iris just before he left. Iris is inside, in the bedchamber upstairs. Take his key. It opens the rear door. Guess I'll make my own introductions. Oh, they're gone. <gasps> so, how should I address you? As you did now. We'd rather keep our names to ourselves. But I get the shovel, guys. <gasps> the spade of glory. Oh. Is it actually better than the... Wait, I'm really confused. What just happened? Oh, because I... It's, it's, it's not better, but... Oh, but I do get healing from it, which is pretty cool. Oh my god. We have a giant spade as our, as our weapon. I don't think it's even debatable, guys. This is the best weapon in the game, by far. It is a giant spade. I'll take it. So this is the guy's friend, now. Do we want to go and tell him? I, I guess he did sort of just run. I want to see what else is here before I go in. It's a very mysterious... Ah! Aha! Uh -huh. A hairbrush. Floral ornamentation. Pretty... Wonder if that has any use later down the line. We will see. But I found it. We'll check if there's anything else here. See, this is why you search, guys. You you might be thinking, God, here goes George again, searching every nook and cranny. But I wouldn't have found the ornate hairbrush if I hadn't searched every nook and cranny. I'm aware of how much you end up missing if you just don't look everywhere, you know? Oh. 
guess thieves tried to lower the statue with ropes, but something scared them off. Hmm. Well, I'm, I'm wondering what that was. Oh, and there's a there's a grave dug here, but nothing in it. It looks or some sort of hole at the very least. Hmm. Don't know this deity. Strange. Old gear doesn't seem the pious type. I I'm gonna assume it's something to to do with um you know neck uh, demon things. I don't want to say any specifics really. I don't want to even name anything. Another intruder buried by the caretaker. You know, at least he gave them actual graves and put little marks in them and was like, yeah, we'll bury them in the garden. That's what you do with intruders, right? Okay, one more thing it looks like. Seeds and bulbs. Someone's still planting flowers. Geralt, look, we know who it is. You don't need to be all, hmm, I wonder who it is. Oh, somebody could have done this. You know, we know who it is, Geralt. Listen, it's the caretaker. We killed him, we got his spade, and we're using it as our, as our trusty new weapon. I cannot wait to put it into action. Yeah, I think I think we got everything. Okay. Um, and I checked everything else on the way in, so should be okay. I can use this key to get through the door. However, there was another door. Can I use this door instead? I can use this door. This is my house. Fair enough. Um, guys, it's very late at night right now. I oh god, it's so dark. I can see, but it, it is dark as... Okay, there's a creepy light coming from in there, so I'm just gonna... I'm just gonna head on out. No, I'm kidding. Oh, oh there's, a, there's a doggy! Oh, sorry, I keep on calling them doggy and, doggy and catty. It makes me sound so, like, childish. I just... <laughs> I don't know, I just... I, I feel like it's funny to call the demons doggy and catty. That's sort of always a joke I would have. It's not very funny, but it, I like it. Oh, it is very dark, though. Look, guys, this is the ultimate test of uh, your willpower. Can you survive through the darkness? There's another door here. Oh, it's even worse. I literally can't see anything. I'm not even kidding. I cannot see anything. Is there anything in here? Is this just like a door? Is this a room? I hear breathing. Creepy breathing. What? Where, where, where am I going? No, okay. It is very dark, but I, I think that's meant to be part of the... Yeah, I can I can see stuff, just about. It's not too terrible. Not as bad as it used to be. Okay. Right. Oh, guys, I am, I am apprehensive about going in here. True, Geralt. What the? There was someone like walking above, I think, or something coming from above. I'm gonna set about even moving. I'm gonna be honest, guys. All right. Obviously, we got to loot his house. You never know what could be in here. You know, maybe some books. No. Okay. Well, that's nothing. Um. Oh, my inventory's full. Okay. I'm just gonna drop a bunch of random stuff in Old Gear's house. He'll, he'll be fine with it. You know, we're, we're buddies. We're buddies. Um. Take it. Okay. What the hell was that? Can I can I can I look at the sketchbook perhaps? Can I can I no? Okay. Fair enough. Don't want to miss anything else in here. I don't see anything. I think it would have lit up a bit if I if I needed anything. Right, well there's a chest there. Now, I thought I just saw something red in my peripheral. Maybe not. Okay, let's carry on. Whoa, what the f- My house. Okay, I just- I did get a bit of a shiver, I'm gonna be honest, guys. A little bit of a shiver. That- that voice was right- that was like ASMR levels. Oh my god. Oh, my legs are a bit- yo, you know when you get that sort of leg hairs on end? That was- that, I wasn't expecting- oh, there's a painting! Hang on. I see an igni- 
Okay, well, we'll, we'll wait till the egg needs one off before we have a look at the painting. There might be something down here. Oh, another painting. What is that of? That's of... Novigrad? What is that of? It's hard to tell. It's so dark. <laughs> Seeing is a good thing. Okay, let's have a look. All geared as I've never known him. A different man then. Yeah, I mean... You know, he does look pretty much the same, Geralt. Uh, just, is he missing a scar, maybe? He looks a little bit younger. A little bit of a cheeky tash. And I think he has a cheeky... Uh, does he have a little bit of a goatee going on? I'll have to check. I'll have to make a note of it. He has a little bit of a... Little, little, little beard, I think, as well. Right. Okay, I, d I don't like the creepy lights on in the, 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 the abandoned house. But we're going to have a look. Let's see what's going on here. Okay. Hmm, tidy. And everything is clean, ready for a meal to be served. Caretaker must still set the table. Okay. Iris does not like him setting the table. Hmm. I mean, something's going on, let's be honest, guys. If you haven't already realized. Okay, that's locked, fair enough. Um. I just don't want to miss anything. You never know, there could be like, like you know, I found that hairbrush, guys. It's proof enough that you can miss things. God, I just cannot see a thing. Oh, there's, there's can, can, candle, 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 there's candles, guys. Oh, and another candle, it looks like. Let there be light. Where is this other candle? Wait, is it on the floor? Oh, it is literally just lit on the floor. That's amazing. Okay. okay. Right, well, I, I think I've looked at everything. It's nice of her to put that fire on for us, too. I just think that was on when we came in. Can I, can I add this? Nope. Okay, right. I'm going to stop messing around. Let's, um, let's head to the main event, so to speak. There'll be a little bit of messing on the way, of course. It's got to be, guys. I don't like all the screaming. Oh, that's cool. Oh, look outside. Is it daytime? No, it's the middle of the night. Look at that. Oh. It's hard to tell. Oh, look at that moonlight. See, this is why I kind of like it when it's dark at points, guys. Because you're just like, what the hell? Oh, my God. Speaking of what the hell's going on, it's like, what the hell's going on? It's so dark and then suddenly moonlight and little creepy things poking out of areas. I think it adds to the atmosphere. I don't want to have it too bright. I don't want to see everything. Realistically, I would use cat if I was actually in Geralt's position here. Oh, another painting. Happy families are all alike. Every unhappy family is unhappy in its own way. Until they aren't. Wait, yes, Geralt was right. <laughs> Anything else? Oh, <laughs> I have that painting. <laughs> Do I? Did I sell it? I don't know. Okay, let's keep having a look. Ooh. There's a room in there. There's also a door. Where there is a door, there is a key. And unless it says locked, then there will never be a key. Okay. Well. Head to this room. Hmm. Fire damage. Interesting. Yeah, it is interesting. The, the rest of it's just kind of fallen apart by itself, right? God, caretaker did not do his job. I'm just saying. I don't know why everyone's saying how good he is. He didn't. Ooh. You never know. I might find some cool books, guys. I'm just saying. Oh, this will be the bit. That room that I was in before was below this. I'm gonna have to have a proper look around here later down the line. I think another painting. What is it of? People? I can't really tell. Oh, back in the fog. Very creepy place. Okay. Oh, there's a creepy hallway. Guys, I'm getting the shivers again. Wait, that sounds really weird. You know what I mean? Oh, I, I feel like something's going to happen. I see a, f a red flower and everything. Oh, I knew it. A wraith! Use the air den! I remember my training, Sheila. Do not forget. Trap it with the air den! Oh, hang on. I, I remember my other training. Oh, <laughs> uh, yes. <laughs> the other training. The other unspecified training I must do. S S Spectre? Where is it? Okay. The glowing blue one. Who would have thought? Who, who would have thought? see anything! What even does 
does this thing look like? It's, oh, I saw its face a bit there. Let's get it into the light. Look at it. It's got like a creepy dress on. I want it. I know. Reese. Right, we're fighting this Havisham, guys. I like it. This is the fantasy I subscribe to. When I'm in a fight, I, I just feel unhappy because I'm not getting jump scared or other things happening, you know? It's it's like guys, it's like 1 a.m. right now for me. Look, it's it's late, okay? <laughs> it's it's creepy. I like it. It's a little bit creepy. It's got that element to it, but I feel I feel safe, you know. I got Geralt here supporting me. It's not like most horror things where you're just like this nameless character who is basically you. Who has no dialogue or anything. Oh. It's also good, guys, so much is nice. I'm good with horror games, alright? I beat Amnesia. No! Kill the painting! I can't kill the painting! She's in the way! She's stopping me! She's blocking me! Duh. Okay, I killed the painting. Christ, that was- she was in the way of the painting. I couldn't do it. I'm, I'm thinking that maybe I should even just, like, take a bit of damage. Because she, she- I think it's timed, from what I gather, when she does annoying painting thing. Okay. She restores, like, a thousand health. Like, a second. It feels like most of the damage I managed to do it, uh, in no time. Is Spectral even doing anything? Does she class? Oh, fuck you. It's very hard to get to it while she's chasing me like that. I think what I gotta do when she activates weird break mode, I, I gotta like, just run to the middle. Right, okay, into the middle, into the middle, into the middle. See? And then I boom. Yeah, I'm, I'm getting the tactic down now, that's what you do. Yeah, I don't know if the Spectral was doing anything. I seem to be doing slightly less damage, or maybe the same. Okay, Wraith mode, Wraith mode, Wraith mode, what you gonna do? Fuck this! Right, okay. Uh. Does she heal when she hits me? I'm gonna let her hit me and see. No, she doesn't. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Okay. Back off, Virus! I'm gonna assume it is part of you. I mean, you look... Like a cop post in a black dress, and that is definitely an iris thing. Maybe some sort of embodiment. God, it's so hard to hit that painting. At least it feels at points. Okay, she's doing it again, she's doing it again. Look at that, I'm slowly taking it down, one and bar at a time. This boss fight isn't particularly hard, it's just annoying because you have to like kill the paintings. That's that's the one annoying part. Okay. Should I put back on the oil? I just feel like it runs out so quickly. And it's like, uh, this isn't necessarily a fight of how much damage I can do, it's just how much I can prevent her healing. And I need to focus more on that, I think, than just putting oil on. There is a point to like re-equip oil really quickly though, right? I forgot what it is. Is it like the D-pad or like the select button or something? Should I test? Oh, it was behind her. That's not fair. Oh, I actually got it though. I actually can't remember what it is. Is it is it LB? No, that switches signs. Okay. Why? Oh, no, that's that one. There's a lot of buttons I don't use that often in combat. Select? No? Okay. <laughs> I'm just trying stuff out here. That one? Oh no, that puts my sword away. No, no on that one. No, 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 no. I don't like that one, to be honest, guys. I don't like just putting the sword away mid-fight. Um... LT? No, that blocks. What does RT do? Oh, yeah. It's hard to remember. A lot of this is muscle memory. She's restoring a lot of health, guys. I'm messing around too much. Okay. Uh, why is it always the one that I am, like, furthest away from as well? Or that I move away from? Okay. I don't- I'm not sure what the quick equip oil button is on the controller. Okay. I knew it- I knew it would be that one, you know? I was like- I was not even gonna go to the middle then. I was like, it's gonna be the one behind her. They've worked out my strategy, guys. I don't like it. I don't like this metagaming. Right, she's down to one more bar. 
Chakra. Is it going to be the one? Yeah, it is. It always is. I'm mad about that. I'm legitimately mad about that. That's so... They're metagaming me. I don't like it. I will destroy you, Ira uh, Wraith. Unnamed Wraith. Oh, hang on. My sword's broken. Right there. <laughs> Maybe I'll put some oil on while I'm in here. You know what? I'll do it. I'll do it. Because I'm in here, I'll do it. Right. I think I need two, right, for the heal. Probably something like that. Uh, oil, oil, oil. I went past it. Okay, Spectre Oil. Whack it on. Right, go. I'm missing, I'm missing. She's healing, she's healing. I don't like this. Right, she's still on one bar. Let's finish her off. Come on. Yeah, you do way more damage with the oil. You like 100 more damage. I hit. Look at that. Iridan doesn't work. Sorry, Sheila. We couldn't, we couldn't put it into practice. I apologize, but it's the way of these things. Oh, get out of the way. She doesn't do much damage. I think the difficulty is just in that, honestly. Okay, she's doing it again. She's doing it again. Get to it, Geralt. Skip to B square. It's annoying when you miss, because she restores like an extra thousand health. It's like four hits. Well, it's actually only like two hits with the oil. Or three. Maybe, maybe two in a bit. God damn it. Okay, Geralt. Just, oh, he did it. That was perfect, Geralt. That was perfect. You're performing well, my friend. Let's finish her off. And heal. What were the paintings of? They were just a virus, right? Yeah, I, th I think so. From what I gathered, they were all a virus. What the hell was that? I've got no idea, Geralt, but I know that I need to meditate for... You know what? <laughs> just, it's just a... It's just a... Just a quick... Okay, right, we have restored our potions and we defeated the, the Mysterious Wraith. So the painting was of burning. Um, oh, oh, there's flowers. Delicious flowers. All types of flowers. I know they're herbs, guys, or as Geralt says, herbs. But, um, delicious flowers. It's just paintings of, like, charred stuff. Bed chamber. Iris was supposed to be here. Oh, I think I see her. She appears to be dead. This does not bode well for getting that flower. We cannot extort dead people. Wait, get Yennefer on it. We can do it. Guys, I see a future for us here. Should I set up another light in here? Preferably not burning the portrait. Lovely couple. Oh, look at that picture. Oh, what a nice little picture of them. They're both... Well, he doesn't... Olga doesn't look... Oh, there's the rose! He's holding the rose! Oh, you see that rose? was a rose right there. It was a purple rose. Then we can go on to him and say, here's the purple rose. He's like, no, I wanted the rose. It's like, well, the picture has a rose in it. It's like, well, I didn't ask for the picture with the rose. I asked for the freaking... Look. Okay, it's fine. We'll get in the rose, don't worry. Don't you worry. I hear so much screaming. We could just go and find a purple rose that looks similar to the one in this picture. We don't have to deal with this girl. We can leave the creepy house now. It's a very creepy house. Oh! <gasps> what? Olgiadama? Oh! <gasps> Geralt, you are looking sharp as hell, my friend. Oh! Do we still have the Vladimir armor? It's in our... Oh, I don't know. We're gonna have to wear this in Tucson, guys. We've got to show off. This will be what we wear around our, our... Our villa. Oh, wait. What is it called? It is a villa, isn't it? Our, our vineyard, is, I guess. It's a villa and a vineyard. Ish. It's kind of... It's not really a villa. It's a vineyard. Right, okay. I think we're ready to uh, to examine. Gotta be her. Damn it. You wish to see her? Here she is. A man should frame his wishes carefully. It forestalls disappointment. This some sick joke. Why didn't you tell me she was dead right away? You didn't ask. And why hasn't anyone buried her? We can't. As for the caretaker, the one you cut down, while still alive, she ordered him to stay away from her for all time. How did she die? Why are you helping me? I want to know both. I'll start with this, I guess. The deeper I get into this, the more I gotta wonder. Why are you even helping me? We were summoned to serve Iris von Everick. Our mistress died, but that did not free us from her service. Got it. You want to leave this place, leave these bodies. <gasps> Surprised. 
No, not at all. Okay. How did she die? Yeah, I guess that as well. How did she die? Don't see any wounds, evidence of a fight. Her heart burst. Meaning what? A heart attack? No, it simply burst. Find that hard to believe. Yet that's precisely what happened. One day Iris locked the front door, lay down here and died. From grief, from loneliness. God, this story is sad. Iris's wrath. What was it born of? Olgird has some some crazy relations. We've had a lot to deal with this game. Vladimir, Horst, now Iris. Okay, and obviously Gaunter, I guess. Although he's kind of our relation too, in a way, for for a long time. Okay. Her ghosts, restless, angry, attacks intruders. Know why? Lady von Everick has endured much hardship. She's unaccustomed to guests and not fond of strange folk. She can't hear us. Hmm. Well, I, I do need to talk to Iris's ghost, so... Seems I gotta speak to Iris's ghost. It's no easy task to contact the mistress. Rage and bitterness fill her. Got my ways. To make contact with Iris, I gotta bury her body. But that caretaker's macabre little cemetery won't do. Too much blood, too much fear. She spent much time in the front garden. Hmm, maybe there. Wait. Take this key. It opens the front door. Good dog. Okay. Oh, it is very dark. Where am I and why am I walking? Oh, I'm back in the house. Okay, well while I'm while I'm still in here, I kind of wanted to check this this bit. That is creepy. I think I have. I think I was wondering what do I do with all these items. I was just sat there then. I was like, I think you put them on the grave or something. After you you can choose one, it gives you a different dialogue for each item. And I guess I'll just have to show you one of the dialogue options because I can't just be. I don't want to ruin the mood of the the quest by going back and forth a lot, you know. Where am I going? I'm trying to get to the the room that I saw before. You know which room I mean? It's it's like through here. I can't remember. There was a room. It was which way? This way. This is the way of the room. Cuz I, I saw this before. When I, when I came in, I was curious as to whether or not there was anything in here. No, okay. Just curious. Let's get back to the front, shall we? God, this house is so dark. It, it... Oh, she's talking again, guys. All the lights have also gone off. Well, a lot, a few of them. Aha! Front door! We're out. Hello. Being creepy, I see. As you do. Right, let's check all the spots. I think I know the spot that we actually want to, so I'll check all the other ones first. Ah. She liked to sit here, but this is not a good place for a grave. It said this was Too born. close to the house. So I'm assuming it's... searching. When we were looking before, I'm assuming it was her that was sitting here then. Okay, well, we'll check the next one. Let me get this herb. Where is it? I see it. I see it on my map. There is no herb. What? Iris von Everek adored flowers. But she would never want to destroy them. Okay. Mm, Alright, I'll dig the grave somewhere else. <gasps> With the trusty shovel. Yeah, so spade, whatever. I call it a shovel, all right. Okay. This place seems suitable. Yes, she loved to paint. 
Did Iris von Everick have any last requests? Say how she wanted her remains disposed of? She feared death. Worried none would see to her burial or say a kind word in parting. Guess I'll be the one to do that. I didn't know Iris von Everick. Iris von Everick was a talented painter. Iris was Orgird von Everick's wife. That's true. That's also true, but not really appropriate. <laughs> um, I'm, I think I'm going to go with this, you know. I, f I think this is what I would probably say. I'd say I didn't know them, but they seem like a great person. And then I'd add this bit, maybe. I didn't know Iris von Everick, so I can't say much about her. Fate had it a stranger now lays her remains in the grave. At times, fate muddles our path, and life turns toilsome, hard to bear. Yet all deserve respite and peace in death. Oh, and now I put one of these. I have a lot of things. So I have to choose what I want to put. I have her sketch pad. That's one of the things I found in the house, I think. That's what I found near her, where she was, where her body was. And that is what I found near the caretaker. I'll see if they've got anything to add. You two, got any last words for your mistress? We don't partake in human rituals. Trusting that what you've done is in keeping with your customs. Okay, can I put everything? I'm assuming I can only put one of them. Um, the painting? Painting might be nice. Um, I don't know what to put on the grave. I don't know. I think it gives you a different dialogue option depending on what you put. I don't really want to put the brush because I feel like there's been nothing that's been particularly connecting to the brush so far. I'm sort of tempted between the painting. I really did like the painting or the sketch pad. I feel like the sketch pad, because obviously Olga had left and all the rest, and she clearly cared about painting and drawing and all this other stuff, and maybe it'd be quite unique to her and she'd think about it. Hmm. I think I'm going to go with the painting. I think the painting... I really did like the painting, and I feel like it, it seems like a happier time for her. I feel like I, I actually that was one of the few things that I actually got to have a proper look at as well. I'm going with the painting. I'm going with the painting. I don't know if you want to be buried with a painting of your husband, but you live together, so maybe you want to be with him in death as well. Yeah, I guess she loved Olga, you know, prior Heart of Stone, li literal Heart of Stone. Okay, right, let's try to summon her. The remains are interred. Let's summon her. Tormented spirit. I've laid your bones to rest. Forget your wrath, forget your grief. Show yourself. Forgive me for tearing you from your realm. I need to ask you. Should I follow you? All right. What is this place? The Painted World. 
the work of Iris von Everek. How do you two get in here? We exist in both worlds at once. God, that was a... It's, it's so interesting, because I, I just... I'm like you guys, you know, I, I watch it happen, and I'm like, oh my god, you know, and I, I don't really want to just interrupt or say anything like I used to do in the Witcher 1 and 2. <laughs> but I, I just want to say, like, oh my god, this is, this is so awesome. When she, like, appears and she points at the painting, it's... Right. I just, um, I was thinking, I was like, Geralt has really become involved in all this, hasn't he? He's like, if you look back on the story of Iris and Olgird and its full length, Geralt has a whole a whole section in there, I feel. Right, tell me more about this place. Strange place. One born of Iris von Everick's dreams. It existed only in her mind while she lived. In death it gained substance. Pretty fantastic tale. Hard as hell to believe. Yet you'd best believe it, and be on your guard. The painted world is rife with danger. The painted world always remind me of the, the like other realm or whatever it was called in Coraline. Remember that place? If you ever seen that film, very, very creepy film. At least from my memory, it was a long time ago that I last saw it, but Okay, right, where where'd Iris go? Yes, yeah, so it's like a, it's like her painted vision of her house. So we we're basically in the same place, but it is as you'll, you'll all see, very, very different. All right, this is lovely and all, but where's Iris? You awoke her, but for a moment. If you wish to speak to her, you must tear her from her slumber completely. Sure, but how? You're a tracker, right? Saw so you examining the tracks outside. Yeah, so? This is a world built of memories blurred and wilting. Moments our mistress wishes to forget, but cannot. You need to find them, restore them, summon the fears that torment Iris, and destroy them. Easy to say. I don't know if the design was intentional or not, but the dog almost feels... You know when you you, you, you stuff an animal, it has a name, where you, you stuff like an animal, and it looks like it's sort of not quite real, if you know what I mean. Like, like you know what I mean? It has a name, it's got, it's a whole art to it, where you, um... I'm just gonna- sorry guys, I'm gonna have to change the caretaker shovel, and, and that might disappoint a lot of you, but... I'm gonna be honest, guys. <laughs> it's clipping through the sword, and it is getting on my nerves. Oh, that's so much better. <laughs> like, I love the shovel, and I'm gonna use it for a bit of fun later down the line, but... It was clipping through, okay? It was clipping through, and I couldn't have that. Oh. Spectres of Olgid and his wife. But why aren't they moving? This is a memory. But it's incomplete. Blurred. You must peer closely and restore it. Okay, I guess this is the... This is the, um... First memory we're doing. So... There is a painting? Of the house? The spirit from the step. Read often, well worn. Oh, it's like a poem, guys. Like, you can read it if you want. It's it's not like a, a law thing. It's just a book that she used to like reading. I don't need to read the book. Okay. Painting palette. Pieces of tableware for an afternoon tea or breakfast. Can I look at the axle? Uh, Probably not right. I have no idea what to put on here. The 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 tea? Probably not right. The the book. Probably not right. Screw you, Geralt. I'm getting it perfect. The palette. Perfect match. What? The palette of whatever. Okay, fair enough. I thought I was gonna guess she was like holding that or something. He is reading. It looks like. Perfect match. We should get a dog. Or a dog and a cat. Even better. When the rain comes, the dog will warm my feet and the cat will play with a ball of yarn by the fire. What do you think? Are you even listening? Apologies, dear. 
had my mind on my book. Is it that terribly absorbing? Hmm? Yes, uh, terribly. Know what? Let's go inside. Why? It's lovely out here. The birds singing, the bees buzzing. Blissful, really. Sorry, dear. I feel unwell. I'll go in. You stay a while longer. Kill the bees? Kill the bees? Okay, I... Did I... Are they dead? It's very hard to tell. Why are you doing cat things? You're not a cat. I know you're not a cat, you little... Liar, you. These bees are weird. They're, not, they're like, not quite here. But they're... They're... Being weird. I don't like it. Okay, so more. I want to have a proper look around, you know. You only get like one opportunity to come here. Ow. You never know what might be hiding around a corner in this place. Why is there like dark stuff coming out of the well? Okay, then. Oh, that, that, is, like, that almost blinded me. I, like, oh, Christ, I was not expecting it. Okay, these things don't set on fire. I don't like it. Yeah, you guys can run away. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna go through here. That was a terrible idea. Um... Well, I kill one of them. God, there's a lot of stuff here, guys. I don't care. Keep it in. I'd rather kill them while I can, you know? And I'm just run away for 10 minutes. Alright. God. I'm honestly just taking hits with these things, the most annoying thing in the world. Okay, let's just let's just clear that up while we can. God, this is this is this is a creepy area, guys, I'm just saying. Just just what well, just why not? Okay. Hmm. Well I wanna have a look around before I just start doing all the vision-y things. Oh, these are the statues. Because I'd like to have, like, a proper look around, you know? Like, can I even go in the back and stuff? Yeah, I, I honestly don't care. I, I, as I always say, you can avoid and wait for 20, 10 minutes, or if you can take the hit a couple times, just get it done more quickly. There's even like a whole painted garden, but it looks completely different. Which is interesting. Do you not think it's interesting to look at like the differences? And This is such a creative idea. I just want to get rid of these things. Okay. I'm just checking for um, any, any differences. Look how different it is. Oh, wait, hang on. Is that the front of the house? Oh, yeah, I'm in the back of the house. Okay, that was I was confused. I was like, that looks completely different. What is going on? I realize I'm at the back. Okay. Okay. <laughs> I'm okay, guys. I'm good. It's because I was in the front and then I went through the thing what and now, now I'm in the back and it was just like. Oh. Do they just keep spawning? Oh, I think they do. Oh, no. 
Right, I'm gonna kill these and just do the, the memory, I think. And they're just gonna keep spawning. Well, I had a look around, but there's nothing anywhere. Right, I'm gonna add them. Oh, you know what worked before? Although these things are not seemingly affected by it. Honestly, they're doing like no damage. It's more the annoyance of having to like chase them that annoys me. Right, okay, let's go to the other memory. Ow. Another memory. Okay. We got some tattered decorations for a special occasion. We got a wine cup, glass, just like the one Olgier's holding. Or a cup. The memory's blurred. You must search for a way to restore it, complete it. Uh huh. A wedding veil. A wedding veil. I think that is everything. What is this? Another bouquet. Bouquet, bouquet, okay. Probably not right. Why is he giving me two? Perfect match. Your health, my dear wife. And yours, my husband. In my land, custom calls that newlyweds be greeted with bread and salt. But we're alone for now. I need none but you. Oh, if only this moment could last forever. I shall see what I can do. But come in and see our home. Gladly, but I know this sounds silly. Yet the house has sat empty for so long and I'm... Afraid of spiders. I know, I know. I swept them all up and tossed them in the garden. My night. You've seen to everything. Yeah, I might have already encountered a couple of- Oh my god, I did so much damage, what just happened? Oh, there's a lot. There's a lot of them, guys. There's a lot of them. Oh, there's a freaking lot of them. Hang on, I need, I need to, I need to, I need to backtrack on this one. Oh. You know what? Actually, hang on. Where's, where's alternate Quen? Where is alternate Quen? I'm using alternate Igni. I need alternate Quen. That is what I need at the moment. I feel. Ah, I can't do it. Damn it. Oh. God, I gotta deal with the little ones first, I think. Like, really getting in. God, I don't like this. This is awful. Oh. Oh, okay. Okay, we got him. Okay, I got him in a glitch move. Well, not a glitch. It's, it's completely legit. God, I don't like having to kill those things. They, they, oh. Hmm. Medallion's humming. A wraith? No, a nightmare. A fear crystallized. One you must now face. Wonderful. Let's let's face it then. Oh, okay, it's not here. God, get just away from the spiders and I'll be happy. I hope. Okay. I don't really know which which way I want to go. What if there is more things in the house? I think it's sending me down a very particular route. Should I put on the other sign now while I can? No, nah, I'm gonna leave it. It's fine. Another dream of the past. But this one's incomplete too. Oh, there's other paintings in here. There's a person. 
That's nice. There's a there's another person. That's also very nice. I like, I like just a little different than the painting. Oh, I have to examine this. There's a jug in the middle. There's some candlesticks. There's some tables and chairs and all things like that. Okay. Castel Ravello, a Toussaint wine. Expensive. Tell you, I'm realizing more and more. It might just be because I'm noticing it um, more because I've sort of paid attention. But there is a lot of Toussaint references in The Witcher, even just in The Witcher One. A lavish feast, trying to impress the guests. I guess Geralt to spend time there in the books and stuff. Seen this hairbrush? It was in bad shape in the real world. Oh yeah. Oh, is that the actual? That's the hairbrush, and that's her brother. That must be her dad there. I'm gonna assume it's not all Gid's family. He doesn't feel like he has many left. I think the fire was on in the photo now. Fire was burning in the painting. Still something missing though. Candles also need lighting. Silver thread. Pearls. It all must have cost a fortune. What does it even look like? I can't even get a proper look at it. It looks fine. The candles were... Oh, was there like particular candles that weren't on? All the candles except the one at the other side were not on, so... This one? Candles also need lighting. Just these two though, no? My darling, is everything alright? You seem pale, out of sorts. Everything's fine, really. But why don't you tell me how you fare? I'm ever so happy to see you. Except, why didn't Grandmama and Grandpapa come? It's a long, rugged journey. Muddy. They still refuse to meet me. Is that it? And what's this? We brought some of Iris's things. Her favorite brush, her cherished doll, ah, and uh, this for you. Bank notes. We paid off your debts, bought them out, to avoid bringing shame to the family. So nice of Mama and Papa to remember me. Oh, kid. Now you see his true nature? I warned you before the wedding. A ruffian and a boar who keeps the company of bandits. Are you not afraid to live under one roof with that rabble? Okay, level 34 Spectre. Very easy to defeat. So the... let's follow him. Not you again. Who again? Sorry, I was in the middle of something. Hang on, let me just check everything. What is that actual? I haven't actually had a proper nice look. Imagine if Gaunter was in that painting somewhere. How awesome would that be? I think it might be a bit on the nose, but still very cool. Um. Okay. Maybe he is. Maybe he's hidden if you, like, look at it in a certain filter. like this place. That would be so cool if they did that. I would love that. Yeah, I don't like it either, Geralt. It's very creepy. Oh, this was all, like, debris in the real world. I'd like to fix this place up, you know? I mean, I would never want to live here, but, you know, it's free real estate. We can, we can sort it out. No, oh, it's, it's nice. It's, like, rebuilt, but eerily creepier. Oh, that's that painting. Do they have the Hierarch one in here? It was over here, no? Damn. And even in her painting, she recognized that that was not something to have up. The, the, the whole layout of this place is slightly different, I will say. It's slightly different. I can't even make out the paintings, to be honest. Some of them, at least. The bedchamber. Ah. Oh, nice. I like that. Right, what can we find in here, then? I see... A bloody Hell towel. Stained with blood. Awesome. I see a night lamp. It's almost gone. Oh, I wonder if Olgier knew about. Oh, there's the dog's there. Hello, doggy. It's hard to see him. 
I want the cap. Ooh, what is this? I see. Ooh, a painting of old gear. Look at that. That's a good painting. Looks very grumpy. It's very suitable. A lovely fruit bowl. Um, anything else? Oh, so this was the paint room. Look, and that, that shirt that I saw before has paint on it, so it was a paint shirt. Do, do, do. And some sort of bowl. Hang on, I'll just get everything else first. A nightshirt. Never worn, I think. So I have to guess what goes on the... Blood stains. Someone washed their hands, then wiped them dry on that towel. Geralt must be so weirded out by this. I I'm weirded out. Bloody towel. It's gotta be. What... what time is it? It's late. Sleep. Up all night in your study again, I see. What have you got on your hands? Nothing. Got a bit dirty, that's it. Is that blood? Have you hurt yourself? Ink stains. I was writing letters. I shall go to Oxenfurt soon. Perhaps you'd come with me. Oh, that's a marvellous idea. A trip would do us both so much good. Then it's decided. Now, time for bed. I'm exhausted. I shan't fall asleep now. It's out of the question. Come, I shall finish your portrait. She painted all geared, but the details are off. Living tableau's missing something. Iris seems like such a nice person. <laughs> such a nice Fresh. person. As if someone just rinsed it. Oh, okay. Arrange the elements of the... Goblet, grapes to the front. Other thing to the back left and right, okay. Goblet, like the one in the painting. Just put on the table now. Living tableau's gotta look just like the painting. So it was... The... Goblet? Is in the middle. Maybe on this side. I think the grapes are on the right. Let's try this. On the on the left then? Fits, I think. I thought it was either the left or the right. Um assuming the apple is on the right. It was green and like purple and sort of I was like unsure for some reason, okay. This goes here. Finally, just like the picture. Smile a bit wider. Like this. You were meant to smile, not bare your teeth. No, still wrong. Smile like you did when Papa agreed we could marry. Please? Hmm? You're useless. I can tell something's bothering you. I've a bit of work I should see to. Again? Olgird, we agreed not to keep any secrets from one another. We promised. Forgive me. I don't wish to discuss this. Olgird. All geared. Okay, oh, there's a dude. I don't think there's much you can actually loot here, from what I gather. Everything seems to be nailed down. What? Lost your here we nerve. go. Oh my god, the one just appeared out of nowhere. Oh, the more are appearing. Hang on. 
Back off. Oh, you know, I just remembered the overpowered tactic. Does it work? Oh my god, this is so dumb. It's it's dumb. It, it's it's really dumb. <laughs> okay. <laughs> well, we can have a look at the paintings at least. So this one is of Iris with a weird face. This one is also of Iris with a weird face. Oh, and there's a a nice one. That one's of Iris with a weird face. Right, I'm seeing a theme. So this must have been the corridor I went to, ish. Sort of. A little bit. Hey guys. Whoa, that's weird. <gasps> what? Okay. Should I just go in? Master von Everick's study. Here he immersed himself in the arcane arts. The more you know. Oh, a Goetia. Pentagrams here to bind summoned beings. Goetia. Mines aren't all clear, though. Need chalk to fix them. Then I can set out the candles. Sure. We'll find some chalk. These wax candles. I'll take them. Blood pacts. Or on foreign presences. Whoever summons a visitant into our realm risks much. Whether flickering as a spirit in the ether or inhabiting the flesh of a designated host, the visitant shall strive to attain its liberty, and if it does, it shall wreak great havoc. Thus a visitant must be summoned only within a protective circle, which shall bind it as no fetters could. The circle must be complete and eternal, with no ruptures. Its line must be drawn with a steady hand, firmly gripping the chalk. Since a stray step made through carelessness or the visitant's trickery can smudge the line. The circle must be further secured by a barrier in the form of lit candles made of beeswax. A circle thus protected shall stand as a sure and inescapable prison for the visitant. Hmm. A tome about parleying with demons. Manor was depressingly gloomy in the winter. Oh, I think it looks cool. Nice cool version of the painted world, all snowy and stuff. Okay, another little... The gates of mystery between worlds, the library of an occultist. Of all the beings inhabiting the outer spheres, the spirits of the elementals are the most foreign to human nature. They possess a will of their own and are intelligent, though not in the way of men, for there is no way to fathom their d dives and intentions. Genies, the most powerful of the elemental spirits, prove the most difficult for men to commune with. Only the true masters of magic have perfected this art, which demands long years of study and risky experiments. Yet even the most adept at the magic arts cannot tame a genie, merely force it to perform certain acts against its own volition. They say the mage Stammerfell, 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 Stammerford, sorry, I, was, I say his name wrong all the time, Stammerford once commanded, I think, Stammel, Stammerford, I think, Stammerford, Stammerford, once commanded a Dao to move a mountain blocking the view from his tower, but even he could never convince a genie to be a willing helpmate in his work or to give sound advice, for the reasoning of these creatures is beyond human understanding. Well, me and Yennefer had a go a couple, couple times. I got, I got one to make a guy go and, you know, do something to himself a long time ago. Well, Geralt did. I, I technically didn't do that at all. Right, where's this chalk then? Blood? For some kind of magic, I bet. I assume the blood was when he was, like, piecing together the caretaker's body to put him into or something, but it could have been just for the magic anyway. Chalk. Chalk, okay. Black magic. That should do it. Now for the candles. It said in a circle. So I'm just gonna do circle? How about this? Come back! We must talk! Go away. I wish to be alone. Not this time. Come out at once! Leave me be. I merely want to work in peace.
camisa viada. Soba camisa e barasas. What other spell must I use, damn it? I've tried them all. I wish to end our pact. I summon thee! Okay, looks like the painting is what we're doing. <laughs> Damn it, smack in the middle of a raging blizzard. We gotta find shelter and get inside. Oh my Christ. Everything is gone. I'm just gonna run straight in. I see oh, things. They froze to death. Didn't let who in? Family? Ah! I forgot! It's, it's like a thing you have to go in, right? Like a little... Yeah, there it is, there it is, okay. Christ. Didn't let who in? The f oh. Okay. Oh my god. and her father so he didn't let the rest of Iris's family in that had come with Christ hang on can I meditate here no okay I just I just restored my potion that's, that's enough so this is when he started smoking a beer tankard but there was vodka in it drained to the last drop Orgy didn't let who in? Was it had the rest of her family? But why would her father even care about this other thing? Hmm. A marriage contract between Iris and Olgird. Prenuptial agreement. We, the undersigned Iris Bilewitz and Olgird von Everick, have agreed to seal our love in a marital, marital contract, contract yeah, and to bind ourselves to certain covenants. So let this document stand as an oath before the gods that all that we hold and all that we hold holy that till death do us part we shall treat one another with mutual respect and give due hearing to each other's requests and opinions if separation shall come we shall each retain all property both movable and immovable which we brought into the marriage and additionally each shall keep any presents given by the other during the duration of the marriage the income which each receives each shall spend as he or she sees fit with all costs related to the maintenance and upkeep of mutual possessions being divided equally between the parties signed iris bilewit and Olgird von Everek. Okay, so they had a prenup. Nice. Guessing her family made that happen. I mean, they were kind of right not to trust Olgird, but... Mm, I don't know. Okay. So he had a, a mug. Oh, hang Probably on. Probably not right. There's a knife. A knife covered in blood. Guess Olgird got the scars on his shoulders that winter. Oh, yeah. Mug? So that's how he whiled away the long winter evenings. Her father must have been holding the contract. Furthermore, it is agreed that Iris shall be accorded the respect she is owed, that you shall heed her counsel and requests, and... Get to the point, father. My patience runs thin. Gladly. On Iris's request, I declare this marriage null and void. You vowed to remain with me till death do us part. And I've held to my vow. The old geared I married is no more. Breaking a word once given does not come that easy. Believe me, you shall stay here. Forever! Enough! You will not command us! You will... Father! Father! No! Servants! Take this carcass! 
and feed it to the beasts. Christ, old beard. Uh. Vesemir did not teach us about this happening. Uh, I'm just thinking of it because the ghouls and our ghouls thing. Um, Christ. Then Von Everick ceased to be human. Though he still loved his wife. No, he merely remembered that he should love her. Let's go upstairs. Yet again, obviously, Olgier, that was awful. But his sort of logic, I guess, is that he's given up everything, you know, obviously with everything with Vladimir, which I'm not sure if they reveal. I'll reveal at the end if they never get into, but... Um, you know, uh, he gave up a lot for this particular life, and it is not panning out. And he was that's why he was doing all the demonology stuff. He wanted to break his pact with Gaunter more than anything. You can't loot anything in this world. I guess it makes sense, but... Annoying. Okay, hello, weird bag-headed man. Nice bag head. I like it. Very fashionable. Oh, here it is. The creepy family. We spent much time together here, the three of us. In silence. We'll take our places. The same as then. You do the rest. This place has really changed. He decided to get a giant bear to watch over her. That's very thoughtful. Um, not, not, not terrifying, you know. A large clay bowl. Geralt, we are in deep in this Small adventure. Bowl. For soup, maybe. Yeah, I think he carries a platter or something now. Oh my god! Look at this little animal hair. Is this your little pillow dog? <laughs> Single place setting. No others on the table. Oh, this is where she started to sort of become incredibly... I don't know, like corpse bridey. <laughs> I just feel like that's what it reminds me of. Okay, um, I'm going to guess you have the small ball because you're a little cat. There we go. I'm going to guess you have the large ball because you're a big dog. I'm <laughs> think this was yours. <laughs> I'm cheering things up, guys. I'm making, adding to the creepiness. What is this? Claw scratches. God, they, 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 you need to, listen, Kat, you need to be house trained. And there's the platter. The platter. Hmm. Let's give it to big caretaker, boys. Sorry about killing you, man, but you did, you know, attack me. Perfect match. You actually ate from these bowls? Of course not. I already told you, we're not animals. But the caretaker would set them out all the same, as ordered. Another monstrosity. I begged you to stop this. Those two are too, too many as it is. The dog and cat keep you company. This one will protect you. Care for the house. No matter what happens. Before I wished to know what was going on in that head of yours, I thought perhaps I could help. Now, I care not the slightest what you think or how you feel. I... feel nothing. Just as I no longer know if I still hate you. Go, Olgird. I want you out of my sight. Olgird von Everick failed to understand we'd never be able to replace him. His spectre now casts a shadow over Lady Iris's every remembrance. We're almost at our journey's end. What's there? Iris von Everick's greatest fear. I mean, I might be wrong, but I'm assuming he locked her family outside in that snowstorm, because I didn't even realize this, to be honest. And they all died. Then her father was there to break up the contract. But surely he would have been upset about his family. Maybe they did, maybe they weren't there, but he did say he locked people out. I'm just wondering why Iris didn't at this point think, okay, I'm gonna go back to my family. I know she would have been devastated all the rest with Olgird and losing her dad and Olgird, but despite that, I still feel like she would have left, you know? If if she had family, assuming she had absolutely nothing, then I then I obviously understand it. So I'm assuming it that's the case. Can I have a look upstairs? Is that possible? 
Everything is so weird. It's very strange. It's like... It's like the same house, but also not really. It's very weird. Okay. Before I go to the parlor, I just wanted to have a look at some of the other rooms, but I think I'm, I'm basically getting pushed into it. Effectively. Let me have a look upstairs. Can I have a look up here? Just wonder if there's anything, you know? Looks like every door has been force, forcibly closed. Never know, guys. Could be something hiding around. See, look, look at the paintings. That's... I don't even know. They're just of the painted house. That's that one from before. This is... I don't even know. Oh, yeah, that's that one. Did, 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 did who put up the higher art camel fart one? Obviously, this is all painted well, all the rest, but I guess it's her ideal thing, weirdly. There's a lot of paintings around her. A lot of them. I didn't even realize this. There's just uh, paintings everywhere. I guess it is her world, the painted world. Oh, I don't like her greatest fear. It's really goddamn weird. Let me have a look around first. What else is in here? I don't see anything. I'm scanning. Ah! The Last Wish. This is about Yennefer and Geralt and... Yeah, that's 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 very cool that that book is here. I love that. That is such a nice touch. My dearest wife, letters from Old Gear to Iris, where I only as skilled with words as I am with my blade, especially now when an icy void grips my heart. I see how you look at me, and I see you with her. I cannot help you, but I believe I can cease harming you. This letter and this rose are my farewell. May you live in health. And remember but the good times, all geared. Oh, wonderful. Enjoy this. You wonder the delusion you'll complete your tasks. Live happily ever after. Yes. The greatest fear is all geared. Who would have thunk? Okay, I'm just going to lead this guy to the back of the room, I think. Don't want to have to fight his hundreds of other... Fail, and you'll not be back. Oh, okay. Ooh, okay. That's it. Man, you've chosen to deal with which I, I know, I know, alright. Come to the back of the room. I think it's if I accidentally hit one, I have to fight like loads of them at once, which is hard. As lifeless. It might be a fun challenge though. Should I try it? I'm gonna try it. Fuck it. I'm gonna hit like three of them at once. Ready for this? This madness. I'm gonna show you the skills of God damn it, it keeps unlocking me onto him. Hang on. Okay, okay. Why am I why have I done this to myself? Oh my god. I know I can do it. I know I can do it. Oh they, they are they get progressively harder though. As lifeless as a hold of the roads. You know, I'm gonna save them all but one. Okay. This is insanity. Why am I doing this? I'm fighting three at once. You know what is gonna help? Kill him! 
Oh my god, I got stuck, I got stuck. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, this is awful. Oh my god. There's lifeless. Guys, I, I'm not even talking. I'm just terrified. Okay, I got one. I got one. Oh, I want to appear because I killed one. Oh, no. Okay, that's one. Oh, my God. This was such a terrible idea. Come on, 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 come on. Okay, got him. Your turn. Wait, I want to talk. Not here. Not in this place. I'm sorry. I mistook you for another. For Olgird? I thought he'd returned. To me. What are you? A ghost? An illusion? I am sadness. Um... We've met before. Saw you before, but you weren't yourself. And I saw you again in your memories. We've met. I don't recall. I had bad dreams. That is all I know. Um, I've come for the rose Olgir gave you. I've come for the violet rose Olgir gave you. On the day we saw one another for the last time. I dried it, and placed it in our chamber, at my bedside. I lay there for days, staring at it, until at last it crumbled into dust, as did I soon after. So, the rose is gone? Not from this world. Look, you buried my body and the flowers bloomed once more. And I, I was held in a deep, dark sleep. Only now have I awoken, just like my beautiful rose. When you placed the painting on my grave, I remembered the day of my marriage. Tell me, how is Olgird? Healthy? Does he fare well? Oh, there you go. That was the... So that's because we put the painting, we got that dialogue. Interesting. Your husband has a powerful enemy. Well, that is true. Your husband's got a powerful enemy. Gontor Odin. Know the name? I curse the day I first heard it. Who is he? And how'd he step into your lives? It's my fault. It was for me Olgird summoned the Man of Glass, 
and it was my fault he wished for riches, then immortality for us both. Olgird will best Odin, won't he? Now tell me, how is my husband? Oh, so that's why Iris has all this happen. It's, it's Gaunter. Olgird doesn't deserve your concern. He pretends to be happy, but isn't. Olgird's doing all right. I wouldn't say he's even pretending to be happy, honestly. He's just doing stuff, and he's just seeing what's going on. I mean... He's doing okay, Iris. I mean, he's not doing awful. He doesn't, he's not doing anything. He's doing fine, I guess. But I wouldn't say he is happy or isn't. I wouldn't say any of that. All geared's fine. No ailments in any case. Always healthy as an ox. Always escaping trouble without a scratch. And did... Did Olgird mention me? What did he say? Not much, but I didn't ask about you. He just sent me to retrieve the rose. The rose? The last I have left of him. His last gift. The rose, more than a memento, isn't it? This is a this is a tough quest, guys. Got a feeling the rose is important to you, more than a memento. I remember so little. Yet when I think of my rose, I begin to recall what was. The world around me turns real, and I my eyes open wide and I recognize things. Remember who I am and who I was. Friend once told me about a case like this. Could be strong emotions that bind you to the rose. Feelings we witchers call pins. They're what keeps you in this world. Like an insect pinned in a collection case. Horrible. Need to be honest, if I take the rose, you might cease to exist, as might the world you built around you. And what will happen then? Shall I be free of the suffering, the sadness? Is it the void that awaits? I don't know. I don't wish to suffer any longer, but I fear there will be cold and darkness until... There is nothing at all. Uh, I'm going to say this just because I know that I think it leads to something else, but... I can't take the rose. Is it not what you came for? Can't force Iris into oblivion. She thinks and feels still, and she's no danger to anyone but intruders. Look at her. Look at her world. She's doomed to relive the painful past eternally. Take the rose. Show her mercy. What should I do? What do you want me to do? I do not know what I want. I'm so very, very afraid. This needs to end. I'm taking the rose. Not my place to decide Iris's fate. I won't take the rose. You two, why do you want me to take the rose so badly? Right, well, we'll do the extra thing first, obviously. You two. You want me to take the rose, trying to convince me. Why? We want to help Iris von Everick. And you. 
generous demons? I don't buy it. Because you are demons, right? You were to serve Iris until the end of her days, and didn't come with her death, so you were sentenced to stay in the world of her torment for all time. Can't break the contract yourselves, so you need me to do it for you. If I take the rose, Iris will cease to exist, but you'll also be freed. You're right. But are we wrong to want that? Our intentions are pure. We're but bit players in this tragedy. A performance has gone on too long. We can't help the mistress, and her fate no longer moves us. Can we be blamed for simply wanting to leave the stage? Look guys, I, I know what I'm going to do, and I've known what I was going to do since I started playing even The Witcher 1. I, I, these are some of the biggest decisions I feel. It might not be, you might not even think of it, but the, there are certain decisions in the game that stand out to me, and the whole Iris quest situation is one of the, you know, obviously with the end of Hearts of Stone, but this, this particular quest is a decision that I always thought about, and I always knew what I'd do, and, um... I'll just tell you guys, uh, I'm gonna take the rose. I'm taking it. It needs to end. I need the rose. Will you give it to me? It's so fragile. Look, the petal edges have turned crimson, as they were on the day I received it. The one thing missing is the single drop of dew which slid down the leaf when I took the rose in hand. Or was it blood? Because I pricked my finger. I can't remember. You know, I never did read the letter from Orgird. I didn't have to. And I needn't have kept the flower he left me. I've come to a decision. I shall give you the rose. Our service thus ends. Thank you, stranger, for freeing us. Before we go, some advice. Beware of the one called the Man of Glass. Stand in his way, and you'll meet a fate worse than death. Seek salvation in glass that can't be broken. Glass that can't be broken? So long. I'll remember you, Iris von Everek. That no longer matters. Jesus Christ. Whatsoever a man soweth. So we, um... We got the rose. Amazing. That was, that was a whole thing, guys. It's not even creepy here anymore. The painting's there. Like a physical painting. But it's empty. What about the house? How does everything look? Yeah, that, that quest is a, is a strange one, for sure. Like, I don't even know what else to say. It's just a strange quest. Look at it. The house is just bare now. No more magic, just an abandoned house. All the doors are open. I can actually see, which is wonderful. I think I got everything, though, didn't I? Wow. That was an amazing quest. Is the caretaker still here, or is he gone? No, no, he's uh, very much still here. 
Hey, the, the shovel was there, then it disappeared. Did you see that? What? I think I got everything from here. Okay, guys, I have left the Von Everek estate. That was an incredibly thoughtful mission, I think is the best way to describe that one. Um, I just thought I'd have a quick check. I literally have nothing left par the final quest of the expansion. Although there is a little one that comes in between, as I'm sure most of you will know. I'm not sure where the Von Everek signboard is. I thought it was... If I'm facing this way now, it would be like over there, I think. Yeah, okay, there it is. Yeah, so I'm going to head to do this quest. Still never got to the level for the Viper armor. Maybe I'll make it at the end of the game. Um, <laughs> I can't believe that. I never, I never even hit that level. That is unbelievable. Well, you know, I guess it happens. 500 more XP. Maybe at the end of the entire expansion, I'll hit the level. Why is it snowing everywhere? Weird. Okay, meet all good to man at the Alchemy Inn. So he left someone here, right? What's an oddity like that doing here? Two points, and be quick about it. Oh, please, good sir, a bit of courtesy. So I'll look up. And um, Bob's your uncle. He downs half the barrel in one draft. Geralt! Over here! Oi, wait your looks. Use the look of a man who knows how to drink. Thanks. Some other time. Hey now. Don't make me beg. My treat! Show off. Of course I am. Wouldn't you be? Time's a marvelous plaything. And a great spice to use in gingerbread. So, you were listening. Indeed, occasionally I find time manipulation irresistible. Controlling it offers so many appetizing opportunities. Like spiking the soup of unsavory individuals with appropriately ghastly things. You see that? With uh, uh, inappropriate with individuals he deems unsavory. I knew that's what it's about. He doesn't like bad people and he punishes them. That's all it is. It's what I've been saying. Oh, it feels even when I'm sat here just in the dialogue options, I feel like he's, you know, he's aware of that. Right, who are you really? Who are you really? Gauntero Dip. Also known. Not what I'm asking. Ah, so you'd rather know what it is I do. In brief, I give folk what they ask for. You might say, I simply grant their wishes. And get them into trouble. I'm just thinking, sorry. Awfully noble of you. I gotta be straight with him. If I do a sarcastic thing, he replies with a sarcastic thing, and we get nowhere. I gotta be straight with him. And drop them in a world of hurt. No, not I. That would be their poorly formulated wishes. I'm no cheat. I give folk what they want, nothing more. That the off desire unworthy things, that is entirely the fault of their rotten natures. You're not human, that's clear. So what are you? A demon? A djinn? Do you really wish to know? Yes. No, Geralt. You don't. This one time I shall spare you and not grant your wish. All who have learned my true name are now either dead or have met an even worse fate. Yet I still need you. What happens if I use the other dialogue option? Who got not? Ah, 
In brief... That'd be downright noble, if you didn't always demand something in return. Law of the market. I was not the one to coin the phrase, nothing comes free. You're not human, that's clear. So what? Do you re- Yes. No. All who- Oh, this is creepy. I, I, I absolutely love it. I'm not gonna lie, guys. I love this. You control time, or is this just some trick? You actually control time, or is this just some conjurer's trick? What difference does it make? A big one. Hmm. Let us say, time has always fascinated me. So, I taught myself how best to use it. Why time, of all things? Geralt, there are four dimensions. Length, width, height, and time. What would you have me fall in love with? Width? Come now. What that? What that even mean? Like, make people wider? Kind of funny. You could do both. Do both. Okay. I, I love that, because if you're wondering what the ginger bit, what Geralt said before, to do with time, that was in reference to when we were at the party, I think, and he was talking to those women about, um, like, the women on the table, about um, how to make gingerbread. <laughs> Um, or something like that, or it's a good good thing or something. Right, why are you even here? So, to what do I owe the pleasure? I wanted to congratulate you. You acquitted yourself splendidly with all geared. In fact, you've almost satisfied your debt. Was supposed to fulfill his three wishes. Did just that. This is where you remove the brand, because we're even. Nearly. To fulfill the terms of the contract to the letter, you must do one more thing. Draw Olgir to the Temple of Lilvani. We never discussed that. Oh, but we did. As a man of the world, you should know that every contract contains a catch or two. Small print, which, nevertheless, changes the ultimate meaning of the pact. This applies to oral contracts as well. Recall that I said, and I quote, I believe, however, that all will end well, and once it does, we three shall meet and thank one another for the voyage we shared." End quote. Mm, yeah, I remember. Fulfill your end of the bargain, and I will remove the brand. That was the last time you interrupted me while I was talking to someone. What the devil? Why is there a fly in my soup? Was waiting. Had an eye out for you. Didn't see you come in. How is it you're here? Oh, Christ. A lot just happened. <laughs> right, I'm quick, real quick. That's why I am. I'm a witcher. Superhuman quickness. Just one of my many qualities. You toss this fly in my soup? No. Now listen carefully. Tell your Ataman to come to the Temple of Lilvani. It's south of here. Entrance is inside a cave. <coughs> What's the commotion? Lilvani's temple. Got it? Aye. Got it. Hold there! Your friend. The medic. She were here. Ask that you look in on her. Thanks. Shani or Shani, whatever, Most wants to. Oh my god. <laughs> wants to see me. Blind drunk he was. Maybe he fainted. At your fainted. service, squire. He soaked in blood. <laughs> oh my god, look at that. What to say about you, Lot? <laughs> Gaunter was like, you do not interrupt me. If you interrupt me, you get a spoon in the eye. Oh, Gaunter. Okay. Right. Let's carry on. Very true, he only gives people what they wish for. They don't formulate the wishes. I'd be so specific if I was ever in a wish situation. I would have the small print, and you do not screw me over in any way I would consider screwing me over. <laughs> that would be the small print of every wish I make ever. I'm not gonna let you monkeys paw me, Gaunter. It's not happening. And if you do, it's against the terms of what I agree for, okay? Listen. Christ. Because everyone thinks they'd be the same, but it's like, I don't know, they always find a way. Shani, 
Oh, Geralt. Good thing you're here. What happened? Somebody break in? This? Oh, no. Just getting ready to move. What? When? when where to? Not what I wanted to talk to you about. Or at least not only, but... I'm leaving, Geralt. The Eastern Front beckons. I'm Kedwin bound. But isn't the war over? Okay, right, this departure is so sudden, why? Never mentioned you'd be moving. Any intention to, either. I didn't know I would be. Found out this morning. Two soldiers came to my door, said Redania needs me again. Couldn't turn them down? Just say no? Uh, perhaps I could've. But I didn't want to. Treating the ill and wounded, it's my calling. No place I'm needed more than at the front. Don't go. I see. I'm not going to tell her not to go. That's not fair. Um, but I... Do you know what I just noticed? Do you know, do you know the sign on Geralt's face? The, the scar to the left of his ear below the other scar, the new scar. You see the sort of, it looks sort of like a two little weird circles with a line above it. If you put like a line down that and mirror it, I think that's two fives back to back. I only saw it because of this this thing I was watching and it had the same symbol on it. Uh, okay, right. Um, I see. I see. I see. I see. I understand. Any chance we'll see each other again? Someday, I'm sure. I guess Radovid's dead, but they're still fighting technically. Like Nilfgaard just take over eventually. It doesn't mean that he's um that they haven't that they've done it yet. I guess they're just, someone else is leading it, as I said before. Right. Learn anything about Allgird? So. Learn anything about Olgird? Well, I abandoned the books quickly. Decided that if I was going to learn the truth, I'd need to find someone who knows him. Find anyone? Turned out I didn't need to look far. A colleague at the Academy, an assistant to Professor Premathine Shakeslock, claims Olgird von Everick met with the Professor multiple times. Apparently, Olgird asked the Professor to do some research. Professor got so worked up doing it, he went daffy. Started jealously guarding his notes. Wouldn't even let his assistant look at them. The professor. Where'll I find him? Here in Oxenfurt. Cloistered inside his house on academy grounds. Mage hunters guard his door. Mage hunters? Why are they at his door? Mage hunters at the door. He under house arrest? I can't say, really. Some of the faculty think him a traitor. Say he sold out to the hunters for a hefty pouch of gold. The assistant, on the other hand, insists the professor wants him there to protect him. I don't know what from. What's your guess? He's certainly useful to them. A specialist in black magic and the occult? Must be a trove of knowledge. If he's really gone off his nutter, I wouldn't be surprised to see them using him. Right, need to see this professor. Need to talk to this professor. We'll go together. Redanian guards all over the academy. Doubt you'll get in alone. Guards have never stopped me. You know that. Mm. Wound these, and I'll have to patch them up. Besides, we might run into a friend. Get inside free and easy. Good point. I'm gonna loot your house. Damn it. She replaced the book I stole? How dare you. I stole that book. I'll steal your new book, Shani. Mine. <laughs> <laughs> There's so many diary of the fire swallowers there everywhere. Okay. Let's go, Shani. So how are things at the Academy these days? You mean since Radovid shut it down? I mean, is it well guarded? Might be all it is. Many of the faculty fled to the far north. The braver ones stayed, but assumed the guises of tailors and laundresses. Why? Just curious. Scholars seem to have adopted mage tactics. Are they in the same bind? What do you want, Geralt? Long live Radovid! Well, the rest of that. Okay, apparently that's it. I uh, assumed it was... So, the Eastern Front, and then? Depends where they send me. Wherever it is, take care of yourself. Always do. So don't worry. Okay. So all the conversation we get, maybe. Right, let's head there. Because he was asking a rhetorical question. Go 
God, I, we get to actually go in, which is quite cool. The book burning points. Oh, I think we read this before. Halt! By order of King Radovid, no one's allowed inside the academy. Not even lecturers? No one means no one. See, you've become quite the stickler, Norbert. You were much kinder when I was patching you up. By the way, how's your knee? Fine. Dandy. As if no arrow ever struck it. Consider yourself a lucky man. Because if I'd not decided to operate, you'd be a cripple to the end of your days. <clears throat> Bruno? Hey? Maybe we ought to let her in. She's a decent lass. Not like to steal nothing. Hmm. All right. But alone. Which will draw too much attention. I'd rather not get shite from the captain on his account. Here's what we'll do. I'll go in, then help you sneak in around the back. How? Don't know, but I'll figure something out. Usually aren't nearly as many guards on the riverside. Agreed. All right. Let me in. Okay, so we're gonna sneak into the academy. We're gonna be very sneaky about this. Obviously, guys, we've got to loot the hell out of this academy while we can. Now, can I jump into the river from the bridge? I feel like this is a possibility that I cannot pass up. Wonderful. Do I? I don't want to miss anything, though. Do I? Do I miss anything? Well, apparently not. I just wondered if I missed anything by uh. Deciding to jump off, but apparently not. You never know, it could have been like a guard, because I think I always jump off, and I just wondered if maybe a guard's like, hey, what are you doing, or anything. You never know with this game, you never know. Oh, okay. I know the tactic, guys. You ready? It's so unbelievably overpowered. I don't know. Oh my god! Like, like it's just it's unbelievable. I just oh my god! Like oh, just 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 instant. Right. So this is how we get in, huh? Geralt. Psst. Are you there? Yeah, I'm here. Grab the line. Where'd you get the rope? <sighs> Long story. But we've done well. Professor Shakeslock's house is at the end of this street. Witch hunters guard the door. Doubt I'll be able to sweet talk them. Been a huge help already, Shani. Thanks. <laughs> it was nothing. Really. You'd have done the same for me. If you wish to see me again before I go, I'll be at home. Packing will take some time yet. All right. Be seeing you. Aww. Oh, there is uh, some guards here. I just want to make a save. I'd like to make sure I don't miss anything. So we're actually in the Academy of Oxenfurt now. They, I wish they'd actually made this like a full area. That would have been so cool. I can actually inspect this. I mean, I might have to fight, guys, because I, I want to look around everywhere, you know? Looking for a I don't Give care about no witch choice. hunters. Oh my god, level 34 witch hunters. Overpowered tactic. They killed him. I, I I did do that. What the flying fuck is this? Intruder! Get him! Oh, guys. Oh, Most it's so overpowered, guys. I I just don't even know what to say. Watch out! I'm gonna try and set him on fire, then get the other one with some some delicious art power. Not. It's not working, guys. You know what? I'm gonna try something. No 
know who you're fucking with. Yeah, I don't think it's gonna work. Hang on. When in doubt. <gasps> Why am I not using the shovel? Perfect. This is what I wanted. I'm gonna parry him with a freaking spade. Oh, come on. The shovel parry. Okay, it's very hard to hit him. The parry doesn't seem to do anything. Hang on. Oh my god! I'm gonna let him hit me. Right, okay, yeah, let him hit me. I want to see how much health I restore. Yeah, I really shouldn't be taking so long with this fight. I'm just curious about this shovel. Watch his whirling! I'm whirling with the shovel. <laughs> okay, well, that was fun. We'll use that more in the future for sure. Okay. Oh, I'll take all the dimeritium you guys have got. I will, I will, I will not be taking the, the mace. Um, I'm gonna drop these boots. I need to go and drop off some stuff, guys. I've got so much stuff on me. How much, is, how much are these saddles even worth? They're worth like 200. Maybe like eight. I'm, I'm getting rid of a saddle. I don't care. I'll get more. I'll get more saddles. Don't you worry. I want to loot whatever's here too. Okay, well, let's explore this academy a bit while it is possible. This part is going to be so long, but I just want to finish this, you know, and I just want to enjoy it, too. Ooh. I'm curious what happens if I... Because I'm assuming if I jump off like so, I can go back to the rope and get in. Now, can I re-enter this place at any point? You know, even down the line, if I go back to the rope? I'm curious. Okay. It's a very closed area, huh? I guess they didn't make all of the academy. That would have been such a good excuse to make the whole thing, though, eh? Um, I think we have to go that way as it is, so I'm just gonna... Lock tight. Need another way in. You leave a window open, maybe? Very possibly, Geralt. I just, it's a shame we can't look around more, isn't it? I guess it's quite a closed-in area. Don't even get to look in the window, it just reflects. Okay. Useful. Right. God, I tell you, there's not there's not much good loot in this this academy. I guess it's already been looted to to high hell. Wonder if Shani went and like got some of her stuff while she was able to get in. Maybe she wanted to come in anyway. Um, I'm gonna assume I get down to his balcony, right? Or maybe, maybe I go across? I feel like i got to get on the balcony. There you go. Okay. <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> don't, don't, don't. It's fine. Nothing happened. It's fine. Okay, so he should be down here. Shakeslock was his name, huh? Silver Laman. Don't know the sigil. Hasn't been used in ages, looks like. What else have we got in here? Shattered mirror. No sign of impact. Probably not an accident. Shattered by a sound, maybe. Someone look in it and scream? Julian Alboco's lesser key. Tomes about demons, dusty as they come. The essence of evil is to cause suffering. There exist many varieties of suffering, from common corporeal pain through the rare, refied, ref refied, refied, 
Refide, I don't know, torment of the psyche, to deep wounds dealt to the soul. Whence then does evil arise? Does it appear on its own, or does it only spread when conditions are ripe? And finally, the most important question, how can evil be defeated? Most believe evil has always existed, for none remember a time when it did not. Yet, is that sufficient proof? I dare to doubt it, for I am a scholar, and the essence of scholarship is to question all hypotheses, all hypotheses, all hypotheses, until they have been rigorously proven. The appearance of evil is closely tied to the existence of good, its opposite and antithesis. Good without evil is dim dimensionless and therefore imperceptible. Imperceptible. Imperceptible, I think. Yeah, I'm saying that right. Imperceptible. Evil, then, is an in inter integral part of our lives. Evil wears many faces and appears in many different forms. One of them wears a skin of flesh. This evil incarnate as, ma as this evil incarnated as man travels the world, sowing death and suffering. Such evil is devious and difficult to discern. We usually only note its presence when it is already too late. In my scholarly wanderings through the myths and legends of a great many cultures, I've come across descriptions of a certain individual which um, which all display a striking similarity. I do not mean in terms of this individual's outer appearance or name, but of his modus operandi. This evil works through trickery, tempting at first with the offer of something seemingly good. The price one must pay for this object of temptation, however, is enormous and non-refundable, and the promise then the promised good often contains horrifying hooks and treacherous traps. Beware then of any who promise the impossible, for such can only be delivered through the mis for, through the mass through the machinations of evil. God, I tell you, I struggle with like easier words more than the hard words because I just well, what you would define as like a hard word, just because I I overthink things, you know. What was that? It was like a bit of debris. It's got the diary of the fire swallow. This is like the most popular book in the Northern Kingdoms. Franco. Is that you? Leave the bedpan in the usual spot. And take the platter. I shan't be eating today. Professor Shakeslock. Who the blazes? How do you get in? Get out. I know nothing. Don't wish to know anything. Understand? No, no, no. Out. Not gonna hurt you. That demon sent you. I'm sure of it. What demon? Feigned ignorance. <laughs> Please, you know. Gaunter, old dim, evil incarnate. He didn't send me, but he is why I'm here. I'm a witcher. <laughs> a mutant. Hmm. <laughs> yeah. Could be. You a prisoner here? Why are there guards outside your door? You a prisoner? Protective custody. That's the phrase. Protective. <laughs> when I cannot decide my own fate, cannot breathe without their permission. What do they want from you? You may not be aware, but I am one of the foremost experts on the occult. Living experts, that is. My mentor was the outstanding Professor Lionel Van... And you're cooperating with the witch hunters now? Cooperating? <laughs> As if I had a choice. They're ignorant. But not enough to ignore what I know about magic, witches, sorceresses, what have you. Knowledge they use for barbaric ends. But that's beyond my control. Right, well we came to talk. Came here because I need information. Think you might be the only man who has it. Hmm, a witcher. Then it follows I needn't fear. I'm hardly a post-conjunction creature. What did Olgierd von Everick want from you? I curse the day I first set eyes upon the man. He appeared at my doorstep one day, offering a sack of gold were I only to find out who Gaunter O'Dim is and how to get rid of him. I agreed. Such matters are my speciality. And I needed the coin. I pored over countless tomes, delved into obscure incidents and analysed folk legends. I went so far as to travel to Nilfgaard, the library there, where at last I hit upon the mysterious entity's trail. There are records of encounters dating back thousands of years in many cultures under many names, but always as evil incarnate. In this land, we call him Gaunter Odim, at times Master Mirror, or the Man of Glass. 
in deciphering the ancient scrawlings, I went blind. Yet I learned a great deal. For example, that he plays with his victims and thrives on pacts above all else. Seemingly harmless contracts which drive their parties to madness. Magic circle on the floor, what's that about? What's with the surroundings? These runes, what do they mean? They protect me. Here, evil cannot touch me. How do you know? He told me himself. He paid me a visit once. Fascinating meeting that was. I was blind already, but saw him clearly. He smiled at me. Said he was honored I'd taken such an interest in him. He wished to thank me and explained he'd taken a similar interest in me. He drew the circle and said I'd be safe within it. His way of repaying me, you see. Ever tried to leave it? If you'd heard how he said it, you'd be as certain as I am what leaving would bring. That seems a bit unfair, but I suppose you'd stick a spoon in some guy's eye for interrupting him. Someone trying to find out who he is is pretty... Oof, okay, what else do you know about him? Know anything else about the man? Gaunter Odin is no man. He is evil. Evil which assumes various forms. Forget about him or die. You're alive. Alive? Yet I live in constant fear, born of what I've learned about him. All geared make one of these packs with him? All geared sign one of these packs with him? Brilliant deduction. But have you guessed why? You must know that he came from a wealthy, influential line. He must have, if the family of his betrothed accepted him. Yet did you know, his fortune soured. He himself became an outcast, impoverished. Iris's family, a powerful house, could not accept this, would not marry their daughter to a nobody. Olgird wished to elope. The further away, the better. Yet Iris refused to cut her family ties. Quite the predicament. Indeed. Their luck turned yet darker when a wandering witch mentioned a solution. A man who would grant any wish. His name, Master Mirror. The rest follows naturally. Olgird and Odin. A meeting at a crossroads. A wish. A pact signed in blood. And a price to be paid. Olgird was to sacrifice one he loved. Old Dim delights in difficult choices. He knew Olgird loved two in this world. His betrothed and his brother, Vladimir. Olgird chose, and soon thereafter married his beloved Iris. His fortune restored. So there you go, guys. Olgird got Vladimir. Well, Olgird agreed to let Vladimir be killed. So did Olgird kill his own brother? No, no, no. Deduce, Witcher. Odim acts directly or indirectly. Hmm? Olgird merely signed the blood letter. The next day, his brother was dead. I wonder if that's how Gaunter got the blood. Or if he got it from... Flodim. I don't know. You know all of this from Olgird? Olgird tell you all that? He had to. How else was I to diagnose his case? Make it sound like an illness. It is worse. Many illnesses are treatable, but play with evil. Medicine can be much harder to find. Olgird wanted to break his pact. Why? Why was Olgird out to get rid of Odim? He'd gotten what he wanted. Had he? His heart had turned cold as ice. His feelings for his wife, for whom he'd sacrificed his brother, had withered. He'd lost all he loved. Had he wanted any of this? No. Odim grants what you wish, not what you want. All who sign a pact learn the difference and die by it. All? No way to get rid of him? Kill him, you mean? Kill evil? No. Yet the annals tell of a man who dissolved his pact, 
by defeating Og Dim at his own game. Meaning? Og Dim wields contracts, word traps, duels of wits. Challenge him to such a duel. He'll agree, and can be beaten. But remember, there is only ever one stake. Sole thing he truly desires. Human souls. How can I get rid of this mark? Thanks for your help. You know, in the thing that happens eventually, I wonder what happens if you fail. I don't think I've ever failed. Alright. Odim left a mark on my face. Any way to get it off? A mark? No mention in the tomes. Strange. Unless... Unless it will disappear once your pact is fulfilled. If I challenge him, end the pact that way, will it go away? That I do not know. The one man who succeeded bore no mark. Right, well, th thank you for the help, Shakeslock. Thanks. Helped me a lot. Good. Very good. Ah, oh, to feel useful after so many years locked up, living in fear. Why, it's pleasance itself. <laughs> His, he has a journal. I want to read it. My notes and observations, Professor Shakeslock. The circle Odim created terrifies me. I cannot see it, but I know it is here. I know no name for the sense which, with which I perceive it. When I near its bounds, strange shivers shoot down my spine. This is not pain, but something that stands my hair on edge like a hedgehog's quivers. A month has passed, and still I stay within the runic circle. Nightmares prey on me more and more. I've come to fear sleep. I know not how long I can withstand this. I dreamt I had a daughter. This was strange, for I've never had children, yet one came to me in my sleep. She was no older than ten. She called me Daddy, and I... And, okay. And... God damn it. This <laughs> room... She called me and loved me deeply. I can... She called me daddy. God damn it. And loved me deeply. I could see it in her eyes. The strangest part of it of all was that I also burned for her with a great paternal love. Can one possibly dream of someone who does not exist? Can one love such an one? I no longer fear sleep. Perhaps Odim has decided to give me peace. I have no desire to change his mind. My dreams of Amelia... Or Amelie? Amelie. Amelie, Amelie, I think. Amelie, Amelie. My dreams of Amelie give me great joy. My daughter is a good and clever girl. I believe she will grow into a wonderful woman. A shame she exists only in my dreams. Not, not only do I no longer fear sleep, but now I cannot wait for the moment in which it comes. What a fantastic transformation! If nothing changes, I shall soon try to leave the circle. I know now why I dreamt for weeks of the child I never had. It was his doing. This night my daughter died. She caught a strange illness which poked her whole body with hideous oozing sores. She cried, begging me to help. I could do nothing. She died in my arms. I awoke, swoke, I awoke soaked with sweat. I remained a wreck, my mind tattered. Three months have passed since, since Amelie's death. My heart still bleeds and horrifying visions plague my every moment. I'm a blind man who wishes he saw nothing, for utter blindness would be a relief compared to these tormenting visions. I cannot persevere much longer. I have become a deeply unhappy old man. I have now lived within the magic circle for a year. Thoughts of suicide haunt my mind ever more often. It would be so simple, I need but step outside the runes. But he said he was in here for years, so that whole thing was... Oof, that whole thing was years before. See all these markings, I wonder what they mean. You see them everywhere though, even in the base game. I don't know if it necessarily means anything. I might just drop both the saddles, you know, I don't want to be going back and forth to the stash at this point, really. Um, okay. Anything else I can grab? I think I got everything, didn't I? I'm just aware that once I leave here, I think I can pretty much never come back. Right, okay. Let's leave. Right.
Right. Well, I guess it's time to go. Um, I'm assuming I can just use that rope to get back out. Maybe I could just go through the front door. Oh, you know what? I could probably climb up that tower and jump off like I did before. That'd probably be easier. Okay, you know what? I'm just going to use the ladder. Okay, right. Final bit of the game, guys. Well, the, the base... Well, hearts of stone. At the very least. Let's go and do it. Right, well, the, the thing I want to do first, guys, before we do it, that was a, this, this whole thing, this ending of the game has been sad and creepy, and I love it so much. God, like, you had the Vladimir bit, fun, you had the, uh, the heist, which is just a bit of fun, too, then you have the sad iris thing, then you have the incredibly creepy ending bit with Gaunter, where you get really into it. Right. No, but what I want to do is I want to make the Viper armor, because it, assuming I might level up after this whole thing is said and done, um, I can stick it on, oh, and at least end the series with it on, the, the Hearts of Stone series. So I'll go and craft it now. I think I probably have the materials. If I don't, I'm sure I can make them. Um, I need to make the armor and a sword, so I guess I'll make the sword first. Sure, I'll go make the sword. Um, Venomous Viper's Steel Sword. I'm going to make it. And there it is. I'm not the right level yet, but I can make that. So the next one is something I... Well, I'm not going to tell you whether I'm going to get that one or not, because if you've played the game and you know where you get that sword, it, it massively depends on what I decide to do at the end, and I want that to be a surprise. But I'm going to go and uh, make the armor anyway. What, what, what is this music game? Sorry, what, why, why is this playing? I'm just trying to make armor. Don't be reminding me of what's coming. Why is this music playing? <coughs> what? Geralt. I just just would like to make some armor. Need some armor. Thank you. <laughs> this is really made this creepy, guys. I'm just I'm gonna make the viper stuff, okay? Um. Yeah. All right, viper boots. I bought some cured whatever a while back. Viper armor, Viper gauntlets. Does it all require bloody cured draconic whatever? Viper gauntlets, and mm, Viper trousers. Just may as well make it, you know. Yes, it does. Wonderful. Craft. Cool. Okay, guys, I have made the armor. I'm going to head over to the Temple of Lilvani now and um, finish Hearts of Stone. I, w I already have a signpost relatively near there because I've actually been there before. So, well, um, yeah, see you there, guys. Oh. Oh. Oh, hang on. Wait, can't I? Okay, guys, I am just in Oxenfurt before I go to the Temple of Lilvani, as I almost forgot something um, on my way there. I just I just had a, a sudden realization. Oh, I thought, you know what? <laughs> let's, let's not risk doing this um, after the actual expansion has ended, because I... I I don't know if you can or not, but I I don't want to risk it. I don't want to risk it, so I'm I'm gonna go and um, I'm gonna go and I'm gonna go and see a friend before before we might not be able to. And here she is. Okay, hello, Shani. Yes, Geralt. Uh, Aldona and Jonas's wedding. Sorry, Aldo Aldo Aldona and Jonas. A lovely wedding. Gotta say, wedding was a great idea. Rarely have a chance to rest, get away from it all. Did me good to do just that. Oh, I'm a medic. I tend to know what I'm doing when I prescribe something. Hope Vladimir's antics weren't too annoying. Uh, a peculiar man. Ghost, true. But I found him... likable. <laughs> Wager he was a real hoot when he was alive. Should do it again sometime. Except with no ghost possessing my body. I'd be glad to. Ah. Oh. Okay. These last years, where have you been? What have you done? I mean, I, I think we kind of already know. We've chatted to her about this, but... 
Finally, some time to talk. Tell me where you've been, what you've done since you left Vizima. You mean after you left Vizima with Triss? Hmm. Well, the peace was brief, but I used it well. Went back to Oxenfurt, completed my doctorate, then I believe I did time in every field hospital and medic's tent north of the Yuruga. Never could stand to be idle. I'm not a witcher. Not likely to live 150 years. My time's much shorter, so I try to use every bit wisely. Always did know what you wanted. True. Nothing's changed in that sense. Right, okay, I guess we're having a game of Gwent before we go to the Temple of Lilvani. That'll, that'll be a, a nice little, <laughs> nice calm thing, I suppose. You know, I've been wanting to ask you something. Ask me now. Just curious. You ever play Gwent? Oh, Geralt. Geralt. Of course I play. <laughs> what else is there to do come evening when one's among soldiers? Come on, let's lay them out. Damn right. Okay. Ooh. Gone to Odim. Da That's a new card, huh? Right. Okay. I'm just gonna. I'm just gonna get straight into it. I'm not gonna mess around. We know we can win. We know we can do this, and then we can finish the expansion. Okay. So we got some decoys. Oh, Morvran. That's what I'm talking about. Um, I don't really know what. Oh, she's using Scortel, so she probably is, isn't gonna have many spies. Although it's always good to keep one around. I feel. I'll get rid of him. Right, let's just... Shani, sorry, we've got to just defeat you here. Okay. I don't know why I didn't immediately open with a spy. Uh, I guess I just kind of didn't. I'm distracted, okay? This music is creeping me out. Oh, she does have a spy. It's a sneaky spy. Okay, if I get ten points... Boom. Oh. Oh. Okay. Right, if I get another 10 points, I don't want to do that. I can put Morvran down, how about that? He's a 10, and he's a gold. Oh, I can I can raise her Triss with another Triss. And make her play all her good cards. Oh, I'm so tempted to Scorch, but I'm, I'm going to leave it, I'm going to leave it. Oh. I feel like I haven't played this game very well, guys. I don't really have any options for varying spies, so I've kind of been... You know, I haven't had the greatest of times. I'm gonna decoy my 10, and then I'm gonna scorch hers. Oh my god. Okay, she skipped, she skipped. This should be enough. Boom. Okay, well we won, but but we, we're not in the greatest of positions, to be honest. Things could be a lot better. Um, she might have a... Oh. Okay, we can revive the 10, it's fine, it's fine. Okay, okay. Annoyingly, I didn't get a single, you know, like a, like a commander's horn, but it's fine, I hope. There's no way, right? Oh, we won. That was actually a close game. That was actually a close game. I did two crown them, but <laughs> it had to be done, all right? Oh, you're good. So good, I'd say you spend more time chatting up folk for games than you do on serious matters. Nah, got lucky, that's all. <laughs> Likely. But here. I dare say, a formidable card from an old friend. So you won't have to rely entirely on luck. What? What, what, what? Where did she even get it from? Okay, apparently Old Gird is very famous. Okay, right, farewell. See you later. I'll oh, see you never, Shani. That's the end of it. Uh, we knew you in The Witcher 1, Shani. We've we've had a good time with you in Hearts of Stone, but I'm pretty sure this is the end. I will try and come back here once I've finished the whole expansion, I suppose. 
but uh, maybe I'll do that in the first part of Blood and Wine because I kind of have an idea of how I want to end this and um, I, I feel like it won't involve me coming back here but we finished that, we finished the Gwent game we've said our goodbyes to Shani or Shani, I don't even know it's the most confusing thing ever I don't know what to say farewell, fellow friend from The Witcher 1 but you know, we've, we've got plenty new people to meet and some people from the books in, um, in Tucson well, quite a lot of people from the books, actually. So, this, uh, you know, see you later, Shani. I'm gonna head and do this now. Goodbye. Guys, I'm really bad at goodbyes. I'm gonna, I'm just gonna go. See ya. Have fun leaving and doing medical stuff. Goodbye. Shani. <laughs> right, let's go. Okay, guys, I have made it to the temple of Lilvani. And, uh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna get there now and me all geared and gaunter and we're gonna end our, our pact apparently that'll be the end of it we've been here before i remember we came here very early on in the playthrough accidentally and explored a little bit music still playing <gasps> okay there was a there was a drop there i completely forgot that was a thing Right, we're almost there. Oh, it's like a little droplet. Right, okay. Here we are. I'm trying to not talk too much. I want to keep the mood, you know? Oh, nice view. Strange choice of locale. Guessing there's a reason for it. Just catering to your love of the arts. Not my choice. This place is as good as any. I mean, it wasn't... It, it wasn't my choice. Do I, I don't really want to lie to him. I'll be truthful. I think I'll be truthful. Wasn't me who chose it. I assumed so. But since we're here... I believe you have something for me. Fulfilled the third wish. How do I know this to be the rose? Very well might have picked this up at the Oxenfurt Market an hour ago. Look closely at it. Got it from Iris. It was the last thing that bound her to this world. What? It was a token of her love for you. Iris didn't want to exist anymore. This rose is a symbol of your parting, of punishment. See guys, the problem I'm having is, I think it is... I think she still loved him, but I also think she sort of wanted to move on in a way. You know what I mean? That That's my view of it, so I sort of agree with this and this. I don't agree with the second part of this one though, which is why I'm... I'm not, I'm not, I don't think she wanted to like punish him. I don't think she wanted to not exist and leave and all that because she wanted to punish him. I mean, I, I just don't think that was what happened. I, I think she wanted to give him the rose t to let him know that she was fine and she was sort of moving on and, and she doesn't need to worry and, you know, she's still... I don't know, that's how I feel about it, guys. I think it's a token of her love for him. Uh, more so than this. If I had the first part of this and a little bit of this, I would have gone with that, but that, this is what I'm going with. Maybe. Maybe, I mean, this is the full-on factual one, but this is, like, the f the meaning behind it. And I think this this more so than this. I don't think she was trying to punish him. I think... think she loved you. Meant this as a token of that love. She loved me. After all that's passed... Iris, what a mess we made of it all. If I'd only known then how it would end. What? What's happening? I feel as though... as though... a hot iron's pierced my chest. 
Sorry to have kept you waiting. So glad to see everyone's made it. How do you feel, Von Everick? A little less troubled? Lighter in the heart? Or dim? What do you want? What do you mean, what? Your soul. You forget. The pack states you can take it only once you've fulfilled three wishes and... And we stand together on the moon. Well, what do you know? What? No. We... We had a pact. The moon is there. There! Not here. I gave you what you wished for. Here, on the moon, our contract you fulfilled. Horse. You cheated me. I never cheat. Help all gear, don't get involved. Uh, uh, uh. Oh, I gotta help him. Wait. Do not interfere, Witcher. Remember what I did to the last fool who interrupted me. You grant wishes, right? Grant mine and release him. He must repay his debt. Let him go, and I'll take it on. We'll call it mine. You wish to give your soul for his? No, but we can play for them. I lose, you take mine and all gears. But if I win, you release us both. What do you propose we play? Gwent? Don't know. Maybe we can bet on a challenge. You know I'm good at accomplishing the impossible. Seen me do it. Hmm. Very well. But we shall do this my way. What's happening? You wish to play, so let us play. I shall tell you a riddle. Solve it, and both you and Olgird will be free. And if I don't? <laughs> then we'll all three go for a wild ride. It's what you proposed, is it not? The riddle. Let me hear it. To all things and men I appertain, and yet by some am shunned and disdained. Fondle me and ogle me till you're insane, but no blow can harm me, cause me pain. Children delight in me, elders take fright, Fair maids, rejoice and spin. Cry and I weep. Yawn and I sleep. Smile and I shall grin. What was that supposed to be? You tell me. What am I? Can I, can, can I get him to repeat the riddle? Didn't quite catch the riddle. Mind repeating it? To all things and men I appertain, and yet by some am shunned and disdained. Fondle and ogle me till you're insane, but no blow can harm me, cause me pain. Children delight in me, elders take fright. Fair maids rejoice and spin. Cry, and I weep. Yawn, and I sleep. Smile, and I too shall grin. Uh, well, um, 
That is a incredibly complicated riddle, but uh, let's let's do it. Let's do this. I had to save all good guys. I had to. Even despite everything, I had to. I couldn't, man. I couldn't. You're going down. We shall see, my friend. You must find me before the sand in the hourglass runs out. Ready? Let's begin. Ooh. Oh, I can't see the game. Okay, hang on. First things first. We don't have a map. Holy crap. I want to look at everything there is. Where is the hourglass? Where is this 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 thing? What is going on? What is this place? Oh, no. Yeah, I've run out of time. I've run out of time. But I, I needed to explore everything. What do I not do? I guess I don't loot the gold. There you go. Time run out. Game over. Gotta get there, man. I gotta get there. Are you fucking kidding me? I can do it. I can do it. Come on. What is this place? <laughs> you like it? First things first. Right. Plenty. I know more where, where everything in this from. realm is, guys. Just remember, you must find me before time runs out. I can do it. I can do it. I can do it. Right. Fuck you. Get up. Get away. Get away. First things first. Boom. Next thing. Monsters weren't part of the deal. My world, my rules. Okay. Cry and I weep. Yawn and I sleep. Smile and I too shall grin. Hmm. Something that repeats all I do? Maybe an echo? Echo. No dice. You can't possibly ogle an echo. Okay, cool, 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 cool. Children delight in me, elders take fright, fair maids rejoice and spin, cry and I weep, yawn and I sleep, smile and I too shall grin. Damn it, what are you? I've got this, guys, I've got this. Wait, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, where is it, where is it? It's alright, time doesn't go down while I'm in this menu. Keep going, keep going, keep going. Okay, boom. Get in here. Got bleeding, cool. Get back here, get back here, get back here. What are you doing? What are you doing over there? Come on, keep going, keep going. Keep going, keep going, keep going. Damn it. Don't care. Got him. Okay, we've still got plenty of time. Still got plenty of time. Keep going, keep going. What is it about swords that turns men into utter fools when they see one for the taking? Through howling winds, pouring rain, with their life hanging by a thread. Which reminds me, time is running out. I am well aware, Gaunter, of the time is stressing me out, but I will do it. Okay. Children delight in me, elders take fright. Fair maids rejoice and spin. Children and young folk like swings. Could be scary to old folk, too. Uh, doesn't fit the other verses, though. To all things and men I appertain, and yet by some am shunned and disdained. Fondle and all the meat are the same. Who can harm me, cause me pain? Mm, what could that be? Die! Okay. Right, carry on. 
on, carry on, carry on, carry on, carry on, carry on. Okay, 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 okay. Time is fine. Time is fine. Everything is fine. Everything is going just fine. Okay, we'll get all that on the way out. Everything is fine. Keep going. Keep really, Geralt? Yes, Gaunter. Unable to resist a few shiny coins. I will not just beat you, Gaunter. I, I will fucking demolish you. you. I will win. Especially since time is short. Oh, time is out. Whatever I want it to be, Gaunter. I fucking own the game. Okay. If I can just keep trying until I fucking manage it. It's got to be possible. It's got to be possible. It's got to be possible. Okay, 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 okay. 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 Uh. Is that everything? Is that everything? Is that everything? I think it's everything. It's everything. It's everything. Keep going. Okay, okay. okay. I haven't missed anything. I know I haven't. Oh, shit. Okay, okay. Carry on, carry on. I can do this. 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 Just stay focused. Stay focused and you got this. Huh? Shani, hang on, I'm coming. <laughs> I can't believe you fell for that. Okay, guys, there's nothing down there. Believe me, I have checked many times. That has been the reason I have failed this so much. Well, it's been, this is the third time, actually, I've tried. I, I, sh I, I don't know if I'll, I'll... Even if I don't show you the first two times I tried this, guys, basically I got to that point, and then I tried to look around a bit, and I, f I never got to the house. So this is the furthest I've got so far. This is the third attempt. I'll tell you that right now. I'm not going to lie. Oh, awful. You're doing terribly. I'm doing fine, Gordon. Remember, you can always give up. Okay. As I see it, you uh, will never find me. Guys, I, I have to carry on. I have to carry on. I can't. I can't. I can't. I can't fuck around with those. Okay. Guys, I can't loot everything. I just can't do it. I can't do it. I can't do it. It's not going to happen. Mirror. So this is where you're hiding. <laughs> Calm down. You didn't expect it to be that easy, did you? Kinda did, kinda did, Gaunter. Kinda did, kinda did be that easy. Oh, there's too much shit to look at, man. Doing that forever. Care to wager on it? There was water here once. Maybe there's a way to bring it Duh. back. Duh, no, no, no. So, any better? Yeah, thanks. Wine's revived me a bit. This plonk could revive a corpse. An exquisitely rank vintage. You know what, though? It's good at last to taste something real. So, have at it. Tell me what the blazes just happened. Your brand's gone. Guessing that's a good sign? Ah, uh, guys, I, I am so unbelievably stressed. 
you, you like I always want to try and do everything I can that I think that was the absolute limit of what I could do I'm not even kidding unless I had a sword that could just instantly kill everything like that's the only other option you know, I don't know if I missed anything in that realm, but if I did, maybe that's just part of the game. Maybe that's just part of the game. Maybe you're not supposed to do everything in there, you know? Maybe that's part of it. And if I did miss anything and you guys like, look, you missed this, maybe in the the first part of Blood and Wine, I will, um, I'll, I'll get a little clip in of me going and just showing you that, you know, if, if necessary. But that's what I managed to do. I'm happy with that. That's what I managed to do. Okay, why don't you tell me what it's like to have a heart of stone? Yeah, it's insane. First off, you tell me what it's like to have a heart of stone. <sighs> it's wonderful, at the start. You feel no fear, no angst, but also no concern, no care for anyone, not even those you loved. And gradually, you lose them. Well, you know how it ended. What about your senses? Taste, smell. All there. At first, I savoured the world like never before. It was stronger, more clear. How's that possible? I did not wish for a heart of stone. That was a mere side effect. I wished to win back Iris's hand and have my fortune restored, and then to live like there was no tomorrow. And thus I lived until... Until I ceased to feel anything at all. What a joy to be done with it. Because I am done, right? Will you tell me what happened? I'll, I, I'll tell him, I'll tell him, but... Guys, I am still like... That was, that was, that was hard. <laughs> You might not look hard, but I, that was only the, I, that was the third try. The first two, I kind of messed up, and that's because oh God, it keeps on happening. Um, and and that's because I basically I just decided to go the stupid route. I might show it. I don't know. I don't know because it was just basically the same thing. But I wanted to try and do everything I could, and I I might have missed that bit with the gargoyle bit, but they they would just would have taken too long. They would have taken too long. Right, mirror dragged me into a game. That was a, that was a close game though, eh? I got all the treasure. Right. Let's tell old Gid what happened. Odim decided to have some fun at my expense. Devised a game I was supposed to lose. Seems he'd forgotten the training you put me through. In doing the undoable. So only to protect myself. In doing so, I put you in harm's way. Forgive me. <sighs> well, don't have to worry about him anymore. You're safe and free. I thank you, though I've no notion what to do with this freedom now. Mira took everything, everything I loved, all I held dear. Not true. Got your heart back. A bitter victory. Now, at last, I sense how much I've lost. I have a heart again. Yet all it feels is grief, sadness and defeat. My life is a ruin. Don't worry, it'll all work out. True, I don't envy you. It is, but... I'm not sure if I don't think it'll all work out, but I think what Olgid needs to hear right now is a bit of optimism. If I'm honest, I don't just want to be like I don't envy you. True. I mean, it's true though. It is. It's a. It's a mess. It is a mess. <sighs> Can't say I envy you. As the saying goes, careful what you wish for. Oh, I shall be. Believe me. Actually, I have a better idea. I'll never wish for anything again. It's time I took fate into my own hands. 
Live life anew. And truly, this time. Sounds like a plan. I'll never forget what you did for me, Witcher. I have something for you. Can't accept this. You can. And must. This saber's been in my family for generations. Even when I'd lost all else, it remained at my side. Means a great deal to me. All the more reason why I can't take it. Do me the honor. This'll mark the start of my new life. And such a weapon could be right useful to you. Thank you. Ow! Sorry. You needn't be. I thank you again, Geralt. And good luck on the path. Good luck to you too. And there you have it, guys. Hearts of Stone complete. We have done it. We have finished The Witcher 3's first expansion pack, Hearts of Stone. And it has been fun. It has been real, real fun, guys. I, 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 I absolutely love this expansion so much. It is, it is unbelievable. That, that entire ending is so good. And I know a lot of people probably think why did you save all good all this other stuff and it's 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 simply because i think it's it, it's it's more in line of what i would actually want to do you know i would want to save all good despite everything and you know why i did it you, you might not know my exact reasons and one of my main reasons is i did it for iris because she you know she sacrificed everything to give that rose all the rest and she moved on and I think more than anything, she would want Olgird to just go back to how he used to be. You know what I mean? But when, as she said, the Olgird she used to know. And I, um... You know, I think it's good that we we, we saved him, in a way. We, we turned him back to human. Because he did make a mistake, and to say that he didn't suffer for it would be wrong. He really did suffer for it. I mean, he really suffered for it, guys. And... You know, I think he now needs to just try and do some good. You know what I mean? That's how that's how I feel about it. So that's why I made the decision to let him carry on, and I genuinely think he will try and do something good. And I, I think that that's what we need to do. It's nothing. It's nothing like a condonement for anything he did, anything like that. I just think that I think he needs a chance, and I I, I think that we've given that to him, and we'll see what he does with it. And that, that's why I went for that ending. That's why I, that's what that's why I that's is this what I've been thinking for years, you know? This uh, when I was gonna get I, I haven't finished Hearts of Stone since I first finished The Witcher One. No, since I first started The Witcher One on the channel, because that was the last thing I did before I decided to do a playthrough of uh, every game from The Witcher One to Two to Three. And that means it's been a very long time since I did Blood and Wine, because that was in the previous playthrough even before then. Years. And we'll be uh, we'll be moving on to that next, which I am very, very excited about. I, I, I am very, very excited about. You know, and I don't like to date this, but I'll say it's the middle of July at the moment, middle of summer. You know, I'm going to be going to sunny Tucson. It's going to be reflecting it. I can uh, have a love, an awesome time awesome time i'm looking forward to it guys I'm, I'm really looking forward to it and that's what will be happening next because it's not over yet guys we still have one more one more leg of the journey we've done the witcher one two three witcher three house of stone and now we'll be moving on to blood and wine i know i'm sounding very like oh but guys this has been a long old playthrough and i'm just i don't know it's it's crazy it's insane it's been so fun. It's been so fun. It's been it's been just a joy. 
you know? That's the best way I can describe it. It's just been a joy to do. Uh, you know, I, I just... Ugh. I, I, I don't know, guys. I don't know. Obviously, I gotta play the whole credits. You, you understand that. And, and I could stop at any point and just say I'm gonna play you out, then I'll come back after it's all done, you know, and watch it myself, but... I just feel like talking. I, I, I... It's hard, it's hard to put it in words, you know, guys. Like, I, I... I genuinely feel a bit emotional. Like, I genuinely feel emotional. Because... You know... This, I feel like with this playthrough, I have truly made the decisions I mean to, and I really try. I, I, I try my hardest to do exactly what I would want to do, you know what I mean? And to make the decisions that are meaningful to me, and that, I, and, that and that's what this, this is all about, you know? That's why, why, you know, I make videos on The Witcher, and I enjoy it, and I, and I do all this, and... God. You know? It's the playthrough for me is is one of one of my if not my favorite part of doing what i'm doing at the moment you know with youtube despite everything i i i get to sit down every week and get a, a three four hour reminder of why i'm doing what i'm doing you know that's exactly what the game does to me it's just it's just a masterpiece man like it's an incredible game series. It's incredible. Okay. Right, I'm going to leave you guys with the rest of the end credits now while I, while I can put my thoughts together and I will be back at the very end to do a proper end to the uh, Hearts of Stone playthrough. And, um, yeah, see you guys then. A family tomb. To all I appertain, by some am shunned and disdained. Could be family, I guess. Wouldn't match much else in the riddle, though. Repeat the riddle. To all things and men I appertain, and yet by some am shunned and disdained. Fondle and ogle me till you're insane, but no blow can harm me, cause me pain. Children delight in me, elders take fright, fair maids rejoice and spin. Cry! And I weep, yawn, and I sleep, smile, and I too shall grin. Say, yet I wait and wait and nothing. Damn you again. <laughs> Point for me. Gotta be some mirror here. To watch. <laughs> <laughs> Seek and ye shall find. Perhaps. Hmm. Wonder how you'll shatter a sheet of water. I'll still get you. So you say, yet I wait and wait and nothing. There was water here once. Maybe there's a way to bring it back.
and it is done. End credits are finished. We're at the place where it all ended. Still didn't hit level 39. A little bit annoyed about that. But we have the armor. <laughs> this is all the stuff we looted out of Gaunter's... Um... <laughs> oh, God, it's so hard to hit 39. I don't think you're meant to hit it in this DLC, surely. Unbelievable. I did literally everything and I still didn't get it. Well, here at the end, though. But we still have this quest, guys, right here. What could this possibly be? Envoy. Wine boys? I mean, this is only level 34. I mean, that tells you basically what, what the whole situation is there, I suppose. Well, everyone, where The Witcher 3's first expansion, Hearts of Stone, has ended, I'm going to end my Witcher 3 Hearts of Stone playthrough. And I hope you have all enjoyed this relatively short playthrough of um, Hearts of Stone, but as I'm sure most of you will know, this is effectively just a big Witcher 3 playthrough. And it's not over yet. We have the um, the first quest that will lead us to a, a whole new land. A uh, magical land. An amazing land. I, I cannot wait to get there. It's going to be incredible. It's the thing I've probably looked forward to most in every playthrough, legitimately. Witcher 1 to 2 to 3, Hearts of Stone... Blood and wine. That's what it's all been leading up to. The culmination. The end. The final step. We've taken many steps. I've been doing this since my channel basically first started. Two years ago or more. And um, we're here now. We're heading into the final part of the game. Well, the final... final uh, you know, Hearts of Stone, Witcher 3. They're the same playthrough. They're pretty much the same. Just one is a an aspect of it. And I've done everything. I've done everything I can, I feel, and if there's anything I'm missing, tell me. I'll do it. I'll get it done. Um, if Even if that's through the Blood and Wine playthrough, but I'm pretty sure everything has been done. The playthrough is over. I'm going to end by equipping a sword we got from a friend, which I believe is this one. don't know what this sword is, but we also got this apparently, but I'll, I'll leave that for now. And I'm going to end today's Witcher 3 Hearts of Stone part there. Um, well, I'm going to end today's Witcher 3 Hearts of Stone series there. I hope you've all enjoyed. If you want to see the the coming Blood and Wine series, be sure to like. Just let me know you support this sort of thing. Thank you to everybody that subscribed. Appreciate anyone's support throughout all these series. If you've joined halfway through, if you've joined in the Witcher 1, 2, 3, even just Hearts of Stone. Really do appreciate it, guys. And um, I'm glad you've all joined me on this journey, because it's not just me. I'm not the only one that's played The Witcher 1, 2, 3, and Hearts of Stone on this channel. And, you know, not to sound cheesy, I know it sounds a bit cheesy, but we've all played it together. Because if no one was watching, if no one wanted to see it all, you know, it wouldn't have obviously gone up on the channel. I would have just played it, got it done, but it's been a journey. You know, and I've put a lot of time into it, and so have you guys. So thank you for watching, everybody, and I will see you in Blood and Wine. Have an awesome rest of the week, everybody.